give me a three, two, one, so I know when I'm. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Above Table. Uh, I'm John. I will be uh, running this one shot today. Uh, and I think I've got something fun for everyone. I have been a longtime lover of all things um, cosmic horror and and Eldritch, and so that ended up leading into me being into Conan, and so I made the... <laughs> I made... Uh, 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 a lot of people don't know, H.P. Lovecraft and uh, Robert E. Howard were contemporaries, and their works, according to them, exist in the same universe, just as different time periods. So a lot of those entities exist across time. Um, that being said... I have come up with uh, four one shots so far, kind of an episodic structure. If everybody, if these guys like this, if you guys out there like this, uh, there I'm go. hoping to do more. But this is going to be episode one, The Grinning Void. Uh, and Great. we will go around the table and do a little bit of introduction. Uh, for just the players, and then once we get into the game, we will go into character descriptions. Okay. So, okay. sorry with me. Sorry with you. Uh, so, I am Preston, uh, and I will be playing Old Dog. He is a uh, human wizard. Uh, we're, wait, we're all humans. Never mind. Um, Mostly humans, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a pyromantic wizard, yes. Mm. This guy. I am Christoph. <laughs> I will be playing a barbarian. <laughs> Yes. Name Sky. <laughs> my name, my real name is Sky. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Corinne, and I will be playing Mariana, also known as Mari, the very feral Beastmaster Ranger. Fan freaking tastic. I am attracted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that. Um, do we have intro available? Yes, we do. With that, welcome. To above table. Is super cool. Welcome back to the episode one of my Conan one shots, The Grinning Void. We'll see if there <laughs> are more. Um, we open with all of you seeing, and you can place your minis in the middle of that room around a single That's square. That's what I forgot. Um, you are currently seeing something that you haven't seen in a very long time. Steady, consistent, visible light. It has been months, maybe years, that you were captured in the sands of Stygia by the Stygian Empire and forced into the mines here as slaves. Map cam. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. and Matt Cam would be great. Um, and you have been down in the dark of this mountain for a time, indeterminate amount of time. You don't see the sun. You don't. You only get fed once a day, maybe at your best reckoning if you're lucky. But today, you have been gifted with a candle and extra rations because you found something down in the dark. 
Your team, while mining, found a small totem. It's a little kind of almost uh, uh, tiki totem looking stone statue. And it had, it was a small warrior with a two-handed greatsword and a fierce frown on his face. And you brought that out and you brought it to the overseers and they were delighted with you. You got brought up to the top of the mines. You've been able to stay in a place with real beds, extra food, and light for the first time in years. And it is at this moment, during this very peaceful moment, that you actually get to see each other. Now, a couple of things on this. You have no gear, you're in rags, and you've been in a mine without bathing for who knows how long. With that in mind, Preston, describe your character for everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you see a surprisingly, like, fit old man, uh, not wearing a shirt at all, because he's been, you know, slaving away for years. Um, and, uh, yeah, very long beard, uh, kind of balding at the top, but, like, long hair. And, um, yeah, and he looks fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sky? Uh, yeah, what you see is a um, very uh, slender but very fit um, young person of uh, Im- immaculate uh, construction and androgynous features. Um, and uh, yeah, they are very sexy. They are sexy. Yeah. He's a very handsome, dirty, smelly man. He's got bulging muscles, and he looks like he would fuck you up in a fight. <laughs> or in the bedroom. Right. <laughs> right. Or in so, the bedroom. <laughs> boys, girls, don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what the two of your characters see is just this dingy woman covered in rags, probably stole your shirt to fashion <laughs> into, like, more coverage for herself. But regardless, her hair is just scraggly, probably some, like, dreads happening at this point because it's been so long. And she usually, like, uh, is a little more dirty around, like, the hands and knees and stuff because she will, like, crawl into those tight spaces in the mines to often dig stuff out that could be useful. So you guys see each other for the first time. You're actually eating a decent meal. Um, at this point, I need everyone to mark down for their characters that you all have a level of exhaustion. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> Just rest. Why you start, start off, man? Yep. <laughs> you have no gear, you have no armor, and you're exhausted. Amazing. And in this first moment of peace that you've known in years is when the screaming begins. From deep down in the mines, oh, all the way to the bottom. you just hear howling and screaming and yelling and people fighting. What are you guys doing in this moment while when you hear that? Have we finished like eating and I'm you're in the assuming- middle of you're in the middle of the first like decent amount of food you've ever had and the screaming starts. Okay, I shovel that shit in my face. <laughs> All right. Any any extra that's near me in my face. <laughs> All right. I hand over I hand over what is left because I'm watching my figure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will slowly eat it and walk towards the screams. <laughs> All right. So you walk yourself towards that door there. Are you sure it's a good idea for you to go first? Do you smell something burning? Oh wait, it's my mind. It is at this point. (laughs) That's actually pretty good. (laughs) One of the guards just comes howling, screaming, blows right past you into the middle of you, sword in the air, and just starts swinging. Everybody roll initiative. Oh man. (laughs) They have to start off. Rude, I can't finish eating. I got a 19 plus uh, three, so 22 for initiative. So 22, old dogs up here. You also have no ability charges and no spell slots right now. Cantrips? Nothing. Oh, cool. So you get to slap them. <laughs> so uh, this this fight I will put up here is a little bit of a tutorial for some of the concepts that I want to engage with in these one shots. Amazing. And that is, 
you guys aren't always going to be able to interact and just ability your way through things. I want you interacting with the environment. I want you coming up with ways to interact with the characters. There's lots of things your characters can do. You can grapple, you can trip, you can push. You've got improvised, grab a rock, something. The environment is your friend. You're not always going to be able to just hit things till they die. <laughs> some things won't, that won't work. Yeah. So just a kind of a, this is a bit of a primer to that. I'm taking away your abilities. Use the environment, get through this together. Okay. Uh, what was your initiative? Uh, six. Six, we'll put you right there. 12. Perfect. So did the guy hit me and knock me prone or was he I? He just blew past you. Okay, so am I still where I was when I walked through? You got moved a little bit. Okay, all right, all right. But that's it. Excellent. Old dog, you're up first. Okay. He's swinging at us. Yeah, he's just coming in. He's, he's, uh, give me a perception check, actually, real I was quick. I ask if I first. could roll investigation. That's fine. Okay. Um, 17. His, when he blew past you, you noticed two things. His irises were entirely like blown out, like you can't even see the color of his eyes, and he is frothing at the mouth. Okay. Uh, As with, he's screaming. With a 17, wait, sorry. 18 investigation, sorry. Yeah. Um, do I see any nearby like improvised weapons that I could use on the ground? There's like rocks, there's a chair off to the side, like whatever you want to grab. I will grab the chair. <laughs> You'll grab the chair. <laughs> the okay. old dog with the chair. I'll give a free object interaction to grab that chair. Okay, and then I will use uh, an improvised weapon? Yes. Okay. Um, I have unarmed strike. Where the hell's improvised weapon? Oh. All right. How are we uh, working improvised weapon? Because it's not in my actions. Um, uh, improvised weapon. You, I think it would count as an item you would have to grab. I, Sky, do you remember what an improvised weapon uses? It's your strength plus, like, I think a D six. Oh. If you can use it, otherwise you're at disadvantage to swing with it. Well, I have a plus two strength. I, I forgot. So, so you 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 roll with. If I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, someone can correct me. I am looking this up now, in, yeah. in case it's easy to look up. Otherwise, you can just make a really. Quick. Yeah. Uh, for right now, I'm going to call it. If you don't have the feat for improvised weapon, you're rolling with disadvantage to okay. attack. But I'm going to call it a D6 plus your strength for damage. Okay. All right. Well, let me double. Ch uh, I'm pretty confident that I don't. I'll open roll this. Um. So that's a nine and a five. <laughs> so his, you missed his AC by one. Okay. Because uh, you had, that would that's a total of eleven for you, right? Uh, for uh, with strength mod, mod. Strength mod. Yeah, no. Uh, with a five, that would be. Uh, oh, that's seven. So you missed it by five. So it, basically, the rule of thumb that I'm seeing is you can adjudicate what that rep weapon would represent as a real weapon, and you can use that as a stat. So like a table leg might be a club. Got it. Okay, okay that's right. fair. That's yeah. fair. Um, so, two clubs. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that is your turn. You swing and miss at this guy. Uh, he comes in here. Just crazy old man with a chair. <laughs> um, yeah, he... So, basically, you swing that, that table, that, that chair leg at him, and he doesn't even register it. Mm -hmm. Like, it hits him. It hits his armor, and he's not even... Acknowledging your existence, he's just screaming, waving his sword around. Okay. Um, Christoph, he's gonna swing at you. Oh. You're going to try to thrust into. Yeah. Me. So I even see. so, I, I you have unarmored, <laughs> right? Defense. Uh, as a barbarian. Presently, I am armored, so no. <laughs> okay. Well, consider yourself unarmored for the moment. Okay. Um, oh, so, right, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it would be 13 AC right now. It would now. be 13? Cool. Mm -hmm. So a 2 plus 3 is not going to hit it. So you dodge out of the way mm -hmm. of his strike, and that is his move. He continues to scream. You can't even, re you don't even know if he took a breath in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> it's been just straight piercing howling. Marianne. Um. With my history in uh, the outdoor environments, since like mm. my background is Outlander, would I notice this being similar to something like rabies in an animal, 
or is it something entirely different? Give me a survival check. Okay. Um, survival. Uh, It's a seven. Could be. Mm. Well, regardless, uh, this person is armed and armored. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving, so I'm going to dash for the door. All right, well, that will provoke attack of opportunity. Yeah, you're going to get a back attack of opportunity. You can disengage or you can dash. You can't do both. You're not a rogue. Yet. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, in that case, I'm going to make a trip attempt on him. Cool. Uh, for purposes of what we're doing, we're going to just do a grapple roll on that, but you are going to do it with dexterity, because you're just trying to, like, knock his legs out from under him. Okay. Bless you. I think for trip, it's actually shove. Which oh, is, would it be which a is, shove? Which is an action, yeah. So you're oh, trying yeah, to yeah, get somebody, action. You're trying to get somebody prone, which I think mm-hmm. is what you're going yeah, for. That's mm-hmm. contested uh, strength. I don't remember, honestly. I've done, uh, I think I've done exactly two athletics. shoves in my campaign. Uh, no, a shove, it's, it's an attack roll. It is. And yeah. then it becomes contested strength at that point. Right. If I remember correct. So roll an attack. Okay, so... It'd be like unarmed strike. Yeah, my unarmed mm-hmm. strike. Yeah, I think that's actually right. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's better. Um, 16. All right. Uh, that will hit him. Cool. So... Um, so do I knock him prone then? No, now we do the contested strength. So roll okay. in athletics, basically. Athletics check. Skills. You have to beat an 11. That's a nat one. Mmm. Your arm breaks. <laughs> so, um... You just break fine. off a bunch you of You go to shove this guy, and you do everything right. From Hello, Miss Amy Mac. From, uh, what, from your perspective. But something like he is locked in place and you just kind of bounce off of him. So now... Wait, are you prone now? No. no. Okay. I just tried to shove him, but nothing happened. I just imagine it's like... I'm not... Yeah. I, oh, God. I, I, there's a lot of times where I'll, I'll have a nat one like have the opposite effect. Yeah. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Um, Actually, it is, honestly, I did look up shove. You don't have to make an attack action. It's just the... Oh, it's just the contested? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. For, oh. for future. Well, that, that's uh, in that case, <laughs> um, you know what? I'll go with your first roll. Because okay, that was so my mistake. 16 total? So 16 versus my his 11. Plus so two. you do knock him prone. Sweet. So go ahead and move him, knock him prone. It wasn't specifically your mistake. We just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Shove doesn't come up that often. <laughs> <laughs> so th- that's the thing, though. It's like... I wanna, I wanna make it right. So, all right. Um, so knock that guy over. Yeah, knock him. I think. I think John can oh, be a little better. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, now he's sorry strong. You guys got to do that. He's still on the ground doing this. He has not stopped screaming. That's fine. <laughs> um, and now it is Crystal's turn. Yeah, I'm going to take the other table, the chair leg, um, pick it up, and since hits him in the noggin. <laughs> Wait, is there uh, two chairs? Because I was gonna try I mean, and see you only if you use, get free action pull. I'm assuming. Well, here's the thing: you you hit him, and the chair you had broke, and you have a chair leg now. I have a club. That's kind of what I was going yeah. with narrative okay. wise. Sorry, sorry, I didn't know if the chair broke. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna use a chair, another yeah, another one of the chair legs. Too. I wasn't explicit. I said it. You smashed it against him. Oh, so. sorry. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Okay, got you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick up some of the rubble on the other side and f- crush him over the head with Sat's chair leg. And you have advantage on this attack roll because he's prone. That's right, I do. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah, that is a uh, natural 17 plus 5. That's a 22. 22 will hit him. Um, yes. Oh, I'm, I meant to do this before. Can I retcon something? What? I'm very angry right now. I said you have no charges for abilities right oh, now. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. otherwise. That's fair. Can you rage uh, while exhausted? I don't think you can. <laughs> right. Oh, hey. Uh, you try. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. So. You hit him in the head, and he takes those seven points, and the chair goes through his head and smashes as if he's made of porcelain. The screaming continues for the next five to ten seconds as if it's going down, fading away, echoing into the distance. Well, that was very disconcerting. I don't think I've ever seen a, a teapot scream like that. Have you? 
<laughs> Keep in mind, the sounds of combat and screaming and yelling are still coming from deep in the mine right now. I need, uh, give me whatever, whichever one you want, survival or history check. You need to beat a 15 for some knowledge. Okay. I'm so history. stupid. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, take his arms and armor, and I'm gonna do a bit of rifling through his pockets. Uh, no, no, he 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 shattered. All of him shattered. Oh, okay. Yeah, like all of him was a single thing, and it got shattered. It. I got a nine for history. Um, nine. See. Yeah. So I feel. you do not remember the layout. I don't remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember anything. <laughs> Thank you for the um. Mm. Thank you for the compliments, Amy Mac. Mm. I I worked on this voice a little while earlier. You said survival or history? Yeah, survival or history. Uh, that's 18 total survival. Perfect. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> you, being the tracker that you are, have been keeping the layout of the mountain in your head. Where you are now is a newer section of the mine. They came in from the opposite side and dug straight down into what is now known as the pit. Mm -hmm. They were worried they were missing things, so they carved up. And when they got up to this section, they carved back out. You technically have a straight shot right now to the end and the exit of this place. Mm -hmm. So, should we just fucking leave? Step on stepping stones. You have in front of you two sets of barracks, then the mine shaft out. At the end of the set of barracks, it, it, it veers off. You can either go out towards, or you can go down. And at the next set of barracks is also where the equipment is kept. So uh, for my own edification, it's either go out of the mine or go back in the mine to get our shit. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's on the way out. The next, the next room uh -huh. also has the equipment cases. Okay. And then after that is the mine shaft out or the mine shaft down. Got it. Okay. Makes sense. Sorry, it was hard mm. to set all of that. No up worries. Right now. No, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. This is going to be theater of the mind until we get to the next. Totally paper. amazing. Okay. Um, but. So you... I describe like what the layout is to you guys. I'm like, all right, so we can get something to arm ourselves in the next few rooms. I was just about to say, my brother always say, don't count your eggs before they are chicken hatched. So we should probably <laughs> get damn. our swords so that we have mechanisms to stab people with. I feel like this is, I mean, if we're going, I, while, are while we talking guys, about the same thing? We're making a break for it, yeah? Well, while you're all talking about this, old dog just starts walking towards the fucking cliff. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm, ah, I'm, 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 I'm waiting for me. I am coming. Ah, okay. Walking and talking. <laughs> the next room is empty, uh, which is weird because when you came in, mm -hmm. there was a uh, team of four miners on their break. You guys were given like three hours to sleep every day, basically. Which is why you're currently exhausted. You never really get a lot of sleep. Um, but they're not there right now, and the there's nothing stopping you from going into the equipment cache. Um, are we manacled still in any way? No, no. Okay. You were you were kept here. No, uh, like slave through... collars or nothing. Uh, I'll give you a little. For... You remember when you were brought in? This mountain kind of has a lonely mountain vibe to it. It's okay. this single black spire mountain mm -hmm. in the middle of a vast desert. Got it. If you got out, you're just going to go die in the desert. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. So it's one I'll of those like naturally occurring yeah. kind of prison situations. Um, I'm willing to take that chance. I grab my great axe and all my shit. <laughs> yeah, it's none of yours. You've been here for years. But oh, yes, okay, well, fine. You have the equivalent of your starting equipment now. Got it. Okay. So whatever your gear is, whatever your weapons are, you now have access to that. You oh. found a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he didn't. <laughs> he chooses Old to, dog opens he chooses the dress and not. he ponders an orb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> amazing. It's just a shirtless old wizard. Man. I have leather pauldrons and um, all the layers of things. Yeah. Right covering now, all my muscles, but every, my pecs still fall through. Yeah, everything that you're wearing <laughs> is going to have um, that kind of uh, uh, Stygian Egyptian kind of styling to it, because you're, you're pulling from the guard's cachet right now. Um, excellent. So, 
Next steps, you guys have equipped yourself. Oh, how I've missed holding something so grand. This is very sharp. I kind of take like one of the arrows out of a quiver that's nearby and I start filing my nails down because they're like this fucking long by being in the mines and they're gross. <laughs> I mean, then you weren't working that hard. They would have just broken off. No, they are like broken and like okay, fair, fair. Fucked. Yeah. they're fucked up, but... <laughs> I'm Excellent. Like, mm. um, so I'm assuming you guys are going to move out, try to take the shaft and get out of here. Can I find a um, a uh, makeup kit? <laughs> no. Just pat it yourself. <laughs> uh, I find uh, some charcoal find... in the in the fireplace. And I just put a little eyeliner. <laughs> so my do we eyes find pop. water? I'm about to go on the light. I can't water. just do this normal. Yeah, you guys have your basic starting kit. Okay. So you 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 found you found supplies in, in okay. this thing. This is where the guards supply themselves from. Um, Good you know. guys go to leave to go to the main shaft, and as you're heading towards the door, there are four people in the way. Perception checks, please. All of us? Six. Six. <laughs> Seventeen. The old dog's just looking at a wall. He's like, Eighteen. Uh. <laughs> You're staring into space. <laughs> uh, you're, you're pondering your orb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Wait, sorry. Perception, that's 20. Total. Okay. The two of you notice these guys are heavily drooling and frothing. God damn it. Again. I think we are facing more pers- uh, porcelain people. Um, maybe stop staring at your balls and we uh, address this situation in front of us. It's an orb. <laughs> gonna call it like this was the next room. All right. These are where these guys are. Do we have our abilities back? Not yet. Oh, very well. You have been given weapons now, though. That's, I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> As a spellcaster, I don't have anything. Uh, no, you've got nothing right now. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, okay, wait Chris. a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna, um, old dog, hold on. I offer him a quarter staff and a light hammer. I already have a quarter staff. Okay. okay. So he does have that. Do you want javelins to, to huck as the enemy? So we are I going have, to... So you can stay at range. You don't have to get... I have a tree that was made out of a log that had a child. I have a stick. That's very dramatic. Okay. <laughs> you know, he's in tune with nature. I'll give it to him. <laughs> We're going to maintain our old... Uh, uh, um, initiative initiative order, but arrange yourselves however you would have been going to go to that door. I will be in the very front. Okay. Old dog, you should be in the back because you are squishy as fuck. All right, I put you right yeah, I'll defend and be in the middle. Yeah, well, I mean, you also have a ranged weapon. So. Yeah. Well, I still have to defend the, the old middle. man. <laughs> I okay. can shoot arrows. Does that work for everybody? That's good right. for me. I, I am, I I am in the fray. Old dog. Um, can a quarter staff be used as a uh, reach weapon? No. No? no. no. Not unless you have the the thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, staff, it is your turn. Is range five feet. Uh, yeah. So old dog. But you can on. come over here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Give a whack. All right. Roll the hit. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Old dog sucks. <laughs> All right, Preston. Yes. <laughs> yes. I gave you weapons. <laughs> I only have one weapon. <laughs> Incredible. It's too early for you to die. Uh, no, um, you're prone. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Bad guys. I broke a hip. You just like you like you swing. Spin. You swing like trying to like do an uppercut, and it catches your like robe, and you fall backwards. <laughs> One of them is trying to attack you. All right, and he's great. rolling with advantage. Okay. He's got a plus two. <laughs> Does an eleven hit you? Uh, yes, an eleven hits me. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wrong. It wasn't fifteen health. I have twelve. Oh, well, it's even better. No, I, I, no, no. <laughs> I, have, I have 20. Oh, you have 20? Yeah. Okay, well, you have 15 now. <laughs> well. You took five points of uh, slashing damage as they he claws at you on the ground. Okay. Uh, as that happens, uh, Christoph looks looks at you. He's like, "What are you doing? Your arms are like little green beans." Beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one is attacking you. What is your current armor class? Uh, 
It's 16. It's 16? Okay. A 15 is not going to do it. <laughs> uh, the other two are blocked. They can't get through right now. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> um, so uh, it is now going to go to Mariana. It is your turn. All right. In the midst of this, I'm going to knock an arrow into the longbow I found and hopefully find some purchase uh, with one of the frothing mouths on the other side of the door. I love you. You're gonna try and go for the one pass. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try and go for the one pass. Though. I'm going to Doesn't try matter. to find purchase one with some frothing mouths. Why? <laughs> It'll change it's the like way combat goes. Beer. So tell me, do you want it front row or back row? I mean, you said the ones in front are kind of blocking. Yeah. The ones. Who, okay, so I'll just hit the one. Um, maybe behind them. Okay. If I can even see them. You can. Okay. Yeah, it's four guys on the other side of a doorway. Got it. I'll hit one of the ones in the back. Four guys in a doorway. Yep. Uh, four guys in a doorway. Nope. <laughs> uh, that poor girl's doorway. <laughs> four guys. Fourteen. That will be cool. And damn it. Or them's. So yeah, one d eight. That's four plus four, no, so plus eight two. damage right. as I just <laughs> let it go. Your arrow leaves the bow, flies true, passes the guy right over the head of the guy who's currently mauling old dog. Just get down. <laughs> hits the guy behind him, goes right through his head as he shatters like glass to the ground. Well, that seemed all too easy. This might be a problem. Crystal. I'm going to swing at the fucker in front of me that's swinging at me. Uh, that is going to be a natural three plus five for eight total. You swing at this creature and you feel something tug at your will and your ability to perceive it is interrupted, and at the same time, because you cannot perceive it, you cannot hit it, and your axe passes through them doing no damage. That is a new experience. What did you all see? They saw that. My mind. <laughs> <laughs> Old dog! I would like an arcana check from like you, Like I please. said. Uh, I think you need some new tricks. Uh... <laughs> This, this guy is going to retirement. <laughs> What'd you roll? <laughs> Another one, dude? <laughs> I, for a total of six. Do you want to use my rattlesnake dice? Yeah, give me the good one, okay? Like, I got so many nat 20s when I uh, first got this, but, like, I've gotten two ones. So. <laughs> um, That's a ten. Okay, so it is. It's, it's, it's right your right failure <laughs> means that you don't know what. Yeah. Something is coming. But, um, um, so but, I'm going to use my action to stand up. Or not, uh, my movement to stand your up. Your movement to stand yeah. up. Pop up over here. <laughs> Amy's like, throw them in jail! <laughs> <laughs> no, these are brand new dice. Like, they were gifted to him. <laughs> yeah, they were like fucking $90. <laughs> Good lord. They're very nice dice. They're very nice. Maybe you're, get, maybe you're getting all the rolls out on this one shot. Yeah. So that, like... Mm -hmm. on, on the campaign, they'll be... Yeah, on the, on, the, yeah. on the shit that actually is, like, character-breaking. It's not going to be as big of a deal. So, 14 plus... Uh, where, where's my actions? Uh, should be two, right? You have a 14 strength? Oh, no. I, hang on. I have to equip that item. Equipped. Actions. No, plus four. So, 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. And Roll damage. Uh, I'm doing this two-handed, so it's going to be a D8. Cool. Four plus two, so six damage. Is enough. Your your quarterstaff connects with their, with their side. You hit them in the hip. Mm -hmm. And they just kind of, like, fold in on themselves, like paper. Mm-hmm. And just kind of float off to the side. Okay. I will push this over to the side. 
Well, I think it's dead. It's, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. And he's the one behind him was also dead? The one behind him is also dead. Okay. Right there. Oh, dog, that is your turn. He is quickly replaced by this. And he is going to roll. Both against me because my muscles are so large, yeah? Actually, you were uh, unable to do damage, so you're not much of a threat right now. God damn it. I tried. You did. <laughs> uh, this one is going to try to grapple you. Oh. So roll an athletics check for me. Actually, I got to roll a hit for a grapple. Uh, well, that's a 19, so that hits. So, yeah, give me a... Uh... 16 uh, plus 3 is 8. You are, you are grappled. Plus athletics? Yeah. That's a 20. That's a 20? Well, I got a 20. So meets it, beats it. How does that work when it's opposed? Yeah. He's grappled now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. mm. yeah because my second highest stat is strength. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's actually pretty fucking awesome for a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you are grappled by that one, and the other one is going to get advantage on hitting you as a result like of that. It's like a sweaty, ripped wizard. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, he, he was in the fucking, like, slave camp for 60 years. He's pumping iron <laughs> all day. This motherfucker rolled a two and a six. <laughs> 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 so he comes in to, like, kind of, uh, 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 like, pile on with the other guy and bite you. Okay. But... You're starting to become aware of something here. And for some reason, you don't believe he's going to, and he doesn't. Okay. Mariana. Trent. Got... <laughs> uh, last, last day of French? <laughs> <laughs> you got two guys piled on top of uh, old dog here. Yeah. yeah. It's hot. <laughs> um, Old dog's just double fisting it. Just <laughs> right. Um, in order to progress uh, and get outside to some actual, like, good fresh air and out of this disgusting pit with these weird things happening all the time, um, I'm just going to fire another arrow through them and see if I can whittle their numbers. Okay. Whittle it. Whittling. Whittly, whittly, whittly. Bruh. I blame this on you. Is it another now one? Oh my god. I blame guys. that on you. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had that many consecutive this is the fourth one on the tables. And it sucks because it is a this rough is day at the table. Die the Kaylee Get it all out of the way now. Get them all out of the way now. That's what we're doing. Okay. Get them all out of the way now. So, when it happened. matters later, it won't happen. Statistically you, speaking, you, that's true. You, prior, prior to your <laughs> imprisonment here, you have spent years in the wilds hunting. Yep. You know how arrows work. Mm -hmm. You fire this arrow straight, and it goes to the right. Did y'all? And, and here's the thing. It didn't turn right. Mm -hmm. It just pointed this way, went... Yeah, that was very weird. My, same thing happened with my axe. There's something very spooky happened. It looks right to I, me. I, I, <laughs> I start growling now. The problem is it's supposed to be left. <laughs> that expression of feral frustration. You give me give me a perception roll. Okay. Um, perception. I think I have plus three. Uh, 15 total. There is a predator aware of you. <laughs> um, I was about to say something on my head. What kind of... <laughs> and Kristoff. You still feel that tug on your will right now, but you are free to act. Is your feelings that target your soul like I am? No? Okay, I'm going to attack this fucking. 
Uh, natural one. <laughs> oh my god! Brett. Number five! Count them. Someone put up a cannon. Uh, we're so gonna we're die. never doing Conan again. <laughs> <laughs> we're just all. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But like, holy Our crap. These are supposed to be just like one hit zombies. <laughs> like, well, yeah. That shows you. <laughs> <laughs> they can't oh. die if you can't hit them, okay? <laughs> There is a second influence. You hear in the back of your mind a little girl. You may roll with advantage. <laughs> All right, sixteen on the first one. No, that was that was you rolling advantage. Oh, oh, okay, okay, right, sixteen. Yeah. Got it. So you hit, rolled it. Oh, I heard a brka. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brother! <laughs> I have thousand strikes within me for my brother! Uh, Six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, isn't it an axe? Oh, well, yeah, I roll a d12, but I roll a three. Okay. So six points of, sorry, not bludgeoning damage, slashing damage. All right. You reasserting your strength of will on the situation, when you hit this guy, he bleeds. He dies normally. Well, that is new. Um, Thank you, brother. <laughs> my brother's not Jed, by the way. I just looked up for some reason, but I will be reunited with my brother very soon, I'm sure. <clears throat> he's never far. All right. Please tell me he's a twin. <laughs> no, his, I mean, we are, I mean, you could say we're very, very alike in many ways. His name is Jahar. I'm sure you'll meet him very soon. He's very lovely. It is now. I'm... You are currently grappled. I'm gonna cast Fireball. <laughs> uh, you can't. <laughs> I, I will. All right, so I can t- can test the grapple. As Actually, right um, give me another Arcana check. I was about to say, can I give the help back? Five plus uh, ten. Ten? No. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Ralph's back. The world Blasting. around you shimmers slightly. And you feel like what you've been seeing is pale in comparison to what you should be seeing. And that little bit of spark as you're fighting with this guy appears at your fingers, but doesn't manifest yet. Go ahead and get out of your grapple. Okay. So give me your roll. Uh, 18 plus my strength, which is a plus two, 20. Get fucked. Yeah, he rolled 14. <laughs> he got a, he got a 14 guys. total. You are free of your grapple now. All right, uh, and that was my action? That has to be your action, yes. Okay, so let me see. Uh, Thank you, Arcanum Dice, for that roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled on the specially made snake, rattlesnake backbone dice. Yeah, it's fucking dope. <laughs> um, so, I don't know why I'm looking up here. That's the camera that I'm actually Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bam. Um... So, reactions. Where's my bonus actions? Actions and. Uh, I don't like your salesman voice. I don't like it. I don't know why. Oh, it dude, me. I, get, I get worse than that. So, <laughs> so two, two weapon fighting, I would have had to have attacked for my action to apply it to bonus Correct. actions. Correct. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Uh, you are free of your grapple, though. Yeah. Can I kick him in the dick or something, <laughs> please? <laughs> I'll let you attempt to shove. I, I will attempt to shove. Oh, God. You got to beat a 13. I did not. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a five. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, bad guy, he is going to take another bite at you. Over here, over here, you suck, you son of a bitch. I killed your friend. I'm tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's in the middle of fighting him. Uh, yeah, he got a 20. Oh. Okay. Ow. And he does three damage. <laughs> not out. <laughs> I love that I haven't even been hit yet. <laughs> Do a terrible job shaking. <laughs> uh, it is now Mary's turn. Okay. Is Mary appropriate? Mari, but Mari. whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, like, I'm going to say a little prayer to Jevil Sog. Jevil, please, please let me return to the wilderness. And I knock another arrow, mm-hmm. and I'm going to fire on the last guy. Roll with advantage. Okay. That's better. <laughs> As you hear a snarling for a reply. 
hell yeah. Um, uh, it's 15 plus 8, I'm assuming that hits. Yes. Plus 8, god dang. Yes. Um, Level right. 3, that's... what? I mean, it's it's in D&D Beyond, so I'm gonna accept it, it but It's like, just a longbow. I get that, but like... Oh plus yeah, eight. Rangers, Rangers get other shit. That's true, yeah. I, know, I can't remember why that's... Why that's um, and let's see... When I hit a creature with an attack that deals piercing damage, I can re-roll one of the attack's damage die if I want and use the new roll. So here's hoping I get a good roll to start with. Yes, I did. 12 damage. God damn, dude. This last creature that you hit with your, while saying your prayer to Jebel Sog, you heart strike it. And it Hell bleeds. Yeah. Yum. Reality, whatever you did, it helped reality reassert itself in this situation. Okay. And but, it's dead. Okay, but it's real, it's not just like crumbled. No, no, you, you created a body. Okay, awesome. Um, but here's the thing, you guys are miners like you. They're wearing rags, they've got nothing else going on. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cut a piece of flesh off of them and eat it. Okay. You eat the flesh. <laughs> Am I sated? <laughs> you took a bite of meat. Awesome. <laughs> that is uh, quite crazy that you are just eating that man over there. You want some? <laughs> I'm quite content with the rations I have been provided, thank you. Michelle. Don't want dysentery? <laughs> um, yeah, the old dog just looks around and, uh, can I roll an uh, investigation on something? You may. What are you investigating? I want to see uh, nearby objects, uh, specifically for uh, any uh, traps. Okay. Uh, that is a 19 plus my investigation, uh, plus 5, so 24. So, um, for that investigation, I'll also give you a bit of history. There was never a lot of reasons to trap this location. Okay. Because you guys were kept here by fear of lack of resources more than anything else. They could just stop feeding you and you would die and dehydrate within a day because of how dry and awful it is here. So what are you, what are you looking for is over there? Mouse. Did you find Dizzy thing? Shall we get the fuck out of here? Because I'm getting quite claustrophobic. Yes, please. All right. You guys proceed down the corridor. It's going to take a little bit of time. It is an entire mountain's width. Um, So I'm going to tell you that you can take the equivalent of a short rest for this walk. Okay. So if give the one person here a little bit of time to heal up. <laughs> Does he get cantrips after this? <laughs> Give it a time. Give it a minute. All right. Do I get rages? Give it a second. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll <laughs> worry about it. Oh. All right. You make it about halfway through the mountain. I would like perception or arcana checks from everybody. Your choice. I back up to 20. Cool. 19. 19? Uh, you said perception or arcana? Yes. I'm going arcana. That is a 18. Cool. Um, can I stealth instead? You can roll stealth if you want to be moving through this stealthily. Yes. But you won't know what's going on. Okay, well, never mind then. In that case, uh, seven. Seven? Okay. Mariana, the only thing you see are two guards up ahead twitching. Hmm. What is they streaming? Butchered. Yeah, what are they streaming? What? You're doing your next roll with disadvantage. <laughs> 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 um, no, uh, they are 
twitching and convulsing, and they're just standing there right now. Oh, I now. just fucking got that. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, with your keen, savage, barbarian eyes, behind them, something that shouldn't be there. In the darkness, you see a great yellow eye. Um, guys, I am seeing something that shouldn't be there in the darkness is a great yellow eye. <laughs> it is, the pupil is misshapen and irregular. It is somehow organic and geometrically sharp at the same time. It's a, it looks like the thrusting penis of a very sad man. Sure. <laughs> misshapen. You aren't, aren't all of them misshapen? Arcana. Arcana. <laughs> it's a fair sure. observation. Uh, yeah. You got a 19, right? Uh, 18. Please. 18. You are aware of the eye, but your studies over the years, which never bore any fruit in magical ability, have still made you aware of the spiritual realm. You perceive that that eye is attached to something that's bigger than the sky. It's me. <laughs> okay. It's vast and dark and somewhat appreciative. Okay. This thing reaches out to all of you. I need everybody to make a constitution save. Gone to. Oh, God. Ooh, nice. 23. 23? Six. Five. <laughs> oh, no. You guys. What's will, this wrong with you, boys? <laughs> you, next, you guys will do your next rolls straight. You will do your roll with advantage, Sky. All right. This, whatever it is, you feel something invade your very being. It goes into yeah. your mind, it goes into your soul, and it is searching for something. And in that moment, you are aware of two things. You are in extreme danger, and this thing can end existence. Hmm. We should poke it. <laughs> You're paralyzed right yeah, now. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying, we should poke it. <laughs> so, we will start with you. This experience has tipped something in your mind, something that you were never able to accomplish in all your long years of study where you abandoned your family, your memories, your very personhood in pursuit of knowledge. You never got to the other side. You never understood the source of power. And this thing touching you makes you aware of the dreamlands the barrier between the outer dark and the real world. Yeah. You see the dreamlands, and up in the sky, you see a great black kraken as it is pressing tentacles at various points on the barrier of the dreamlands. One of them, you see overlaid reality, is touching the pit of this mine and trying to come inside. Hmm. Give me a will saving throw. Will? Mm -hmm. Wiz. Wisdom saving throw. I'm like, no. oh, sorry. Used to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. mm -hmm. I'm like, we ain't playing third edition. <laughs> Just throw. I would like to raise my six <laughs> to a fucking seven. Okay. Yep, Zach. Throw the whole dice away. No, no they're, they're just going in the back. You, this knowledge <laughs> like just, I'm <laughs> comes with a price. You now know where power comes from, 
but that has seared your mind. And you take eight points of damage. God damn it, I'm back where I was. <laughs> but you now understand where magic comes from. Okay. Preston. Sky. You what? <laughs> I'm over here. Yeah, you're here. Sorry, I was thinking of Sky. <laughs> yeah, Preston is my middle name, so it's okay. Krista. Krista. <laughs> I'm keeping a lot in my head right now. <laughs> um, you... The touch of this creature brings you closer, and you realize that it is the thing that has been tugging on you. But it also makes you aware of something else that has been trying to interpose that tug. I do like being tugged. <laughs> I would like you to make your will save. With advantage? With advantage. I, Christoph Preston Schneikenkopf, now make this save. <laughs> that is a nine, I shall roll again. Mm -hmm. That is a 15, that is so much better. A total of 17. That was the DC. Oh my god. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> so, through this strength of will, avoiding the pull, are we good? Uh, let me check. All right, we've got some important messages we're waiting on, so we're just making sure everything's good to go. Man, I love Roland so low because then chat's just like, oh no! <laughs> just, oh. Who knows? Maybe okay. we'll throw a bunch of 20s last minute. You are also aware of this great creature that is trying to enter the world. And you felt it trying to pull upon you. Because you made your will save and exerted your own personal will over it, you chose free will, choice, over becoming a slave. That was what you were working against in that will save, or wisdom save. Yeah. Instead of the black kraken in the sky, what steps in front of that image is a great mountain of a man who just looks down on you approvingly and then walks away. But you look down at your axe and find that it is of superior make and has the symbol of Krom, the mountain tops, emblazoned upon it now. Ja! Yeah. It is a plus one axe. Oh, sweet. And whenever you roll your, um, your uh, wild magic surges, mm -hmm. you roll with advantage and pick the one you want. Ooh, oh. even better. Would you like to know what would have happened if you failed? No. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but you're all still paralyzed. This thing has a grip on you still, right oh. now. Mariana. That's my plus one fucking action. <laughs> you failed your save. <laughs> um, I'd get a plus one orb. <laughs> so. Minus one orb. Mariana. <laughs> Very similar to these guys, you see the great beast attempting to enter the world. Spit at it. Thank you. <laughs> That's actually great. And you hear a deep rumbling kind of, I'm not sure how a, how a, a manticore would giggle. <laughs> but a pleased noise, a huffing from behind you. What do you do? Um, if it's a manticore behind me, I'm gonna run. You're paralyzed. I'm going to try to run <laughs> <laughs> because there's a fucking manticore behind me. The dog passed out trying to run on the train. <laughs> so, there's more kind of laughter as this creature rounds in front of you. It's not quite a manticore. It is vast and massive, though. 
It is something that you're perceiving as smaller and directly in front of you, but also taking up a big portion of your vision in sky and the sky around you. Okay. It has a great fanged jaw, wings, and a scorpion's tail. You know this creature. Mm-hmm. Jebel Sog speaks to you. Good instincts, defiance. Yes. Will you... Would you like to learn the language of beasts? Become one of my children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? Perhaps. I mean, uh, above table, technically, my character would be able to, with her own animal companion. The language of beasts is something different from talking to your animal companion. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. This is, this is the primal language of animal kind. It's like primordial. It is the there. thing that makes you one with animals and Jebel Sog. Okay. Spreading the language of beasts is kind of his purpose to bring savagery and, and the true concept of mortals is how Jebel Sog sees it. Yeah. Um, you know, you can speak one to two words in this language right now. You can say something to your yourself and your companions. What do you say with this nascent ability? Mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I don't know, something to the effect of like desire freedom or something like that. Be free? Yeah, like, because essentially, like, animals like humankind in their savagery are the most free. They have no constraints other than the laws of nature. Jebelsog smiles and walks away. What you two hear is not seek freedom or desire freedom. You just hear growling. <laughs> you hear a primal howl escape Mariana's mouth. A, a, a piercing screech that is so deeply embedded in the concept of your survival instinct as an evolved species that it breaks you out of the paralysis. Okay, no. You okay. now have all of your abilities, all of your spell slots. Fuck yes! All right. Sweet. You yeah. have the equivalent of a long rest. You're no longer exhausted. Everything good? Yes. Okay, I was um, awesome. No exhaustion. Oh, no exhaustion? You're no longer exhausted. Do I get my you have been interceded with by the very gods you worship. All right, or in it. your case, knowledge of the outer realms. Yeah, uh, so do I get my eight HP? <laughs> please, please. I said you had a long rest. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. We're good. You have all of your abilities now. The things in front of you, however, are no longer twitching soldiers. The things in front of you have tentacles tearing out of their mouths, their eyes, pretty much any opening, wrapping around them as if it's armor. And it's puppeting them, moving them forward. Yeah, this is very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm being facetious, I'm, it's not good at all. This is very bad. So it's we are going- It's probably to, yuck. We are gonna keep our, for the sake of Expedience, we are going to keep our um, uh, initiative order. Old dog, you're up first. All right, so um, just because I'm going to go head first into your concept with this, um, I'm going to cast at second level uh, Agonist Scorcher. Okay. Because I want to see how this will work in general. Yep. Okay. Uh, so they need to make me a Dex 13 saving throw. Dex 13 saving throw? Yeah. Is it hitting both of them? Uh, it's a line. So they are... Oh, they, it's these two? Yeah. Then I'll hit this one. Okay, perfect. So probably take those bodies off the board, because they are none of them boys be there. Yeah. Thank you. He makes his save. 
He rolled a 19. Okay, so with that, um, it takes 3d8 or half as much. So uh, I need 3d8. One. Two. This is a very good d8. Let's, I've rolled many eights on it. I mean, I've rolled many eights on it, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so two. That's a six, and then that is a four. So. Twelve. Twelve, Twelve and then half that, so six. Yep. So we've got six damage to him. Mm-hmm. You, for the first time, are actually able to reach out to the dreamlands to touch that barrier to the outer dark for power. Okay. You cast your flame spell. What does it look like? Uh, so it... It is a roaring fire that shoots from me, kind of like a wall of fire. Okay. Um, but it emanates from my chest and just shoots outward, kind of like Iron Man's unit beam. Just kapow. All right. <laughs> this one's from the heart. <laughs> you realize there is Whoa. a cost to touching that kind of power, but it's not without benefits. You lose two constitution your score. <laughs> what? But you gain two intelligence. Oh. <laughs> so how am I gonna, I gonna apply that? I think you're just gonna have to like keep track of it for crap. Alright. Um, I, mean, I think you do temporary, right? The more you interact with the outer world, the more uh, you will understand in that moment, but it has a corrupting influence. This is not natural to the state of the world. It yeah. technically shouldn't exist. Like, give me no pad. You can't, if you click the modifier, you can actually do a, um, or if you click the actual number, you can do a uh, override score or other modifiers. So you can do like minus oh, or oh. plus. You also change it back, but it will still be two. Misty, this is all Conan based, so. We're in for some eldritch nightmarishness yeah, and totally, some sanity. Yeah, that totally works, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I keep on hitting the modifier. Uh, yeah, yeah, hit the actual score. <laughs> so the, the score goes up by two, not the plus. The score itself. Yeah, Constitution so you're getting goes another down. plus one on the Yeah, okay. And Constitution goes down by two, and Intelligence goes up by two. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's based off of the spell slot that you used. Yeah. All right. Plus four to intelligence. Let's go. <laughs> That's old dog's turn. Yep. You guys have a magi on the team, apparently. <laughs> you look so much more powerful than you did before. You look like a little string being with no abilities whatsoever, swinging that table leg around. For I can shoot fire out of my ass. You guys it was fair been enough. Been yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> you guys have been moving no. down the corridor for a while, so why don't you organize yourselves however you would have I am in the front. <laughs> Puts me in the front. I, I'm waving my arms around like, look at me, all those bad guys. Um, I'll be a bit area. off to the side. Would you like to stop? Like yeah. yeah. I'll go over Done here. And he said that he was side. in the front. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so, I, I shot like kind of near him. These guys would have to dash and take attacks of opportunity in order to get past you. So they're both going to attack you, Sky. Very well. Yeah. <sighs> What's your current? You said 13 or 16? 16. 16 now. 16. Yeah. So these guys are both plus fours. You're going to want to see this. <laughs> I'm going to give you an attack of opportunity for that. <laughs> I rolled two nat ones, everybody. Um. Amazing. That's the theme of this fucking game right now, dude. That's that is the roll. I'm giving you an attack of opportunity for That's that. That's number one. seven. <laughs> We're up to seven. Roll the one. <laughs> These two guys came up to you so clumsily that you just couldn't not. Too many tentacles in the way. Uh, it is uh, 14, uh, 21 to hit, 14 points of damage. Cool. Uh, are you? Which one are you attacking? The one who hasn't been hit, set on fire, or the one who did? Uh, the one who was set on fire. All right. So he is. Okay. All right. He is still up, but he's looking very messed up. You lopped off one of his arms. 
Just you guys are very amateur at this. Have you never done this before? Jesus Christ! Let me show you some lessons. So I chose to get a full health instead of the point of exhaustion removal because you have to choose. So I still have point of exhaustion because I was. I don't think you have to choose. No, 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 no long rest. Not a long rest. It gave. It told me that I have to choose either a point of exhaustion or I. Can well, my my purpose here was to put you guys back to full. Power. Okay. All right. All right. I just I was just trying to let you know. No, I and I appreciate that. But yeah, I've but never I've never known that rule. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I assumed it was like. All right, so. Oh. Normal long rest plus exhaustion, and honestly, I would all probably always roll it that way. It's, just, right. it's kind of fucking. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're two hit points. You want to get rid of that point of exhaustion? Fuck you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, like, what are you gonna do? Like, well, if you have if you have more than eight hours, then do a quick short rest, like before yeah. you even start your long rest. That way, you get all your hit dice back. Like, yeah. It's it's a meaningless thing to do. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, Mariana. Constitution. Trench. Yes. Um. So, you have a connection to the beast realm now. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys want to see something that you've probably never seen before? Shit. And I get down like on all fours and I kind of just like snarl and like summon up this like small creature from the sea. And it takes the shape of a crab. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it right next to you, or yes. can you put it somewhere? It is next to me. Okay. I want butter now. <laughs> His name is Mr. Bubbles. Amazing. <laughs> um, and then that's my bonus action. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs! Yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's kind of like crab-like. Um, but it's like one of those like really weird deep sea crabs that has like the long ass spider lead kind of leg. Anyway, um, so that's my bonus action. So I'm gonna take my regular attack action now, and I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna fire my arrows at which one of the two is the most fucked up? Uh, the one that's slightly on fire on the left. Okay, I'm hit him. My left. No, I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> Make it stop. What? Another one? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Take that one. Oh I'm my putting, hey, at least we're all rolling up. I'm putting yeah, this like, it's one. It's everybody. I'm putting this, this one in jail also. <laughs> and taking another one. I, I want to point out, this is called true equality. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, well, you miss. Yeah, I do. Your creature just came in. Does it get an action, or how does how does your creature work? Is it separate from you? Um, I can control it on my action, but it takes a bonus action and a spell slot to summon. Okay. And then, like, it has summoning sickness, basically. Gotcha. I could have, instead of taking my action, made it do something, but I decided to shoot instead. Got it. Okay. Um, you have cast magic, though. No. Yes. It's not a magic. It uses up a spell slot, but it isn't a spell. Yes. Okay. It's an ability, not a spell. Got it. We'll call that. We'll call that good then. You won't. You don't get corrupted off of that. <laughs> um. It is. Was her turn. Player actions. Oh shit. Shite. Shite. The eye is still there. You know something of what it's connected to. Are you all seeing what I'm seeing? Because it's seeing us. Can you see what I see? They can see what we see. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this in front of the board. You were looking for it to stay. Yeah, I've got the. You were looking for anything ten or below. Oh shit. So 50-50. Mm-hmm. What do we got? I can't see it from or a nine. I can't tell. Nine. Okay. <laughs> there Excellent. is there is a deep scream of rage directed at you specifically, Sky. Me? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, you see, because the only one that can get angry, I'll show you how angry I can get. And uh, I need you Very to nice. make a uh, <laughs> wisdom saving throw. I'm not good at these, but here we go. 
Okay, 13. 13 will result in half damage. Okay. That's all I need. So, uh, oh, it is 14 damage, have to 7. You're not raging yet, though, are you? I am not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, but with that scream, you do hear the tunnel begin to shake. Christoph, it is your turn. I would like to get very angry at this person in front of me. Which means I got to roll on the wild magic table. <laughs> with advantage. Oh yeah, with advantage. You get to choose your result. All right, 71. 53. Hold, please. I'm letting him use a weird wild magic table, too. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> you have to roll a d10. <laughs> I know. I, I went for the d100 one. So oh. a 71. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. no. I'll do the 53. Some of these are not all applying. So, uh, above table, I did not read the uh, primal companion stuff right. Okay, what's up? Um, well, let uh, I, uh, so, um, you see two spectral axes appear on the side of uh, Christoph. He look, he's holding a great axe. He's like, that's not helpful right now. <laughs> he, says, <laughs> he just swings with his back. Incredible. But you are raging. <laughs> but I am raging. So 17, uh, that, 20, 22 to that the hits. Um, and you're at a, you have a plus one right now. You're yeah, I know. I, 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 I did the thing. Nice. Yeah, I got a plus one axe in there. Uh, oh, yeah, so actually that would be 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. Marion is impressed. Right. <laughs> so 9 plus 4 plus 2, 16. 16 damage? Sorry, 15. 15. Uh, how are you killing this tentacle enwrapped? Or, oh, no. if, you're, if you're attacking the one who's injured. Yes, I am attacking the ones that's injured. So I bury my, my great axe into its center and take the two spectral axes off my hilt and I hit it into the side of the head. The spectral axes disappear and it melts into ashes. You hear approving like laughter in the back of your mind. But this is disconcerting. <laughs> I mean, I know I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, excellent. Rage is going. You enjoyed that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dog! Alright. I'm referring to you as. Oh, also, oh, also two more axes appear on the side. <laughs> <laughs> you just permanently have those? Yeah. Awesome. Well, you got a ranged weapon if you need it. This is what it's for. Yeah. <laughs> so we tried the first one. We found out how it worked. So well, you can take the uh, guy in front of me. That's uh, the one on the left. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Alright. As much as I want to continue raising my intelligence, I want to see how you're going to rule this. I'm going to cast Cantrip Firebolt. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Job. Yeah. Rolled a hit. Oh, that was so close. I watched that 20 just like go boop, boop. And it's a fucking two. Oh, bro. Plus one. <laughs> plus one? Is that plus one? Oh, wait, wait, no, it's plus it's six. It's your spell, spell casting to hit yeah. modifier. Yeah, plus six, so uh, eight to hit. So there is a certain amount of power that is safe to use. You can do it consistently. It's yours because of your knowledge and your connection to the outer planes. This does not corrupt you, but it doesn't improve you at all either. So you hmm. can cast cantrips freely. Okay. Uh, oh, however, so this one just kind of flies off. <laughs> Actually, it flies right past, and as it gets close to the eye that's behind them, it, it's a single aquatic eye, but you still feel like it's sneered at you, and the cantrip fizzles. Don't like that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so that, hang on. I'm not done yet. Okay. You got bonus action? He's got the new trick. I might. He used his action, so. Um, because he's an old dog. I will use bonus it's action. A trick. Pondering orb, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> my turn. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't need to move anywhere. That's so, a yeah. free action, actually. All right. Pondering orb. 
that I bonus also action, use my finger bonus of death. <laughs> to continue pondering more. The tentacles kind of release off of this creature, and he goes to grapple you. He gets advantage because you're being grappled by, like, multiple tentacles right now. Um, but uh, what is your... It needs to roll to hit first. 16. He misses. So there's a lot of flailing tentacles, like, slapping at you right now. <laughs> it is unpleasant. That would have been very bad, by the way. Yeah, just, just fucking fuck off. These things grabbing hold of you is not great. I feel it. Mm. Uh, all right. They just want hugs. Uh, Miss Trench. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mari in this beast speech to um, her crab friend. Um, actually, his name isn't Mr. Bubbles, it's Mr. Click Clack. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, but for real though, she has it take a move action. So here's what it actually states for Primal Companion. Mm. In combat, the beast acts during my turn and it can move and use its reaction on its own, but the only action it can take is the dodge action unless I take a bonus action on my turn to command it to take another action, which is different from the dodge action. Got it. Yeah. So you can use your bonus action to make an attack, basically. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, but it kind of like pulls aggro because it's dodging around. So a uh, little guy is gonna skirt on over towards, um, towards Kristoff. <laughs> oh my God, what is that? What, what is happening right now? What is, what is right next to me? How, what, what kind of crab? Does it, like, is there anything special or is it just big crab? I mean, it's got a monocle and a top hat, obviously. Hey, okay. Skyrim <laughs> crab. <laughs> I, I, this, I, I, because it's a monocle and a top hat, I am trusting him this. That is so counter to the whole Jebel Sog thing. I, okay, I'm... I'm I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, this 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 crab looks pretty like you do you battle worn. No, do whatever you want. Actually, yeah. no, no, no. For real though, um, it has like a couple of scars. It's like missing an eye, but like any time it's around like humans. Hence the monocle. <laughs> yeah, when it's around humans, it kind of like looks up and just goes clack clack for yes and clack for no. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call you Christopher Pike. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm it's, gonna call him it's, <laughs> it's gonna take up my bonus action, but I'm gonna have it um, make a weapon attack, and obviously it's one of its claws. Um, I can use Primal Bond to add my proficiency bonus to um, any ability checks, saving throws, or uh, weapon attacks it makes. Okay. So. That reach of five feet. You got a beat so, of fifteen. Six plus eight, so not quite. No. Okay. It can't quite clamp through like the mass of tentacles surrounding Clamps. this creature. Okay. Dang. All right, so that's its turn. Mm -hmm. um, I still have my action, so sure. I'm going to roll the shoot. I mean, it's still pretty great at level three. You basically get two attacks, you know? Yeah. I mean, I can spend my attack to have it try again, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to. Yeah. Um, it's my turn. So we're going to go with that. So 18 total on that guy. Another that arrow to the face. Uh, All right. Hits, roll damage. Damage. Uh, eight damage total as right. I just send another one flying. Uh, it hits in one of the tentacles, pinning it to the shoulder. So you got this one part that's not writhing anymore. Okay. Um, do I want to reroll that die though? No, not this time. I'll All right. It. Once again, layer on us. Ten or below? It is now eight or below. Oh God. 
Give me a one. That's a 16. Okay. Fuck. It doesn't like that its minions are being killed. It's gonna bring in some more minions. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it also doesn't like that there are things here that can resist it. So everybody make a wisdom saving throw as you hear a screech come from the eye. I, don't, I, I feel like I need to use my uh, rattlesnake dice. Yeah, give me a second. Fifteen for me plus. Uh, uh, so yeah, what's my wisdom here? saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Nineteen. Wait, wait, wisdom. Oh, twenty-one total. That passes. Now yeah, twenty plus. Oh, this dice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, you all are it going to do take. Shit. So, I still would have passed with the other one. <laughs> I'll give you the mechanics of this. Um, if you don't pass your wisdom saving throw, you can become paralyzed by this. If he does it singularly to one person, he gets to roll 2d10. Two D, two D if he does it as an AoE, it's 1d10 to everybody. And you all pass your wisdom saving throw, you don't get paralyzed, and you take half damage. All right. So, uh, he rolled a one. Everybody takes one damage. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> so many ones in this fucking game! But I passed, though. Right, so you take half damage, but ones can't be halved, oh, so. Oh, yeah. But you're also not Point five damage! Yeah, point five. <laughs> okay. Literally took as little damage Everyone as Everyone says point five six three damage. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to avoid that because I'm working on the Legend of Zelda one shot, and you can do quarter parts Oh, game, right, right, right. And I'm like, mm -hmm. we're not fucking doing, just hearts. Just yep, hearts. Just we're not doing fractions and crap. No, 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 no. All right. Um, all right. That was the lair. Right. Christoph. Yeah, I am I am still very angry. I still have spectral axes on my side. Mm -hmm. I don't need them, so I'm going to squirt, like, <laughs> sw swing with my giant great axe again. Well, you uh, had advantage. Why did you pick that one? Because the other one was even worse. Oh, fair, 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 fair. fair. <laughs> it's wild magic, man. It's not all good. Uh, At least with barbarians, it can't be bad. True. <laughs> that is true. Uh... 23 to hit. That will hit, yes. Uh, 14 points of slashing damage. 14 points, he's still up. Um, you've carved a bunch of the tentacles uh, like that are coming out of his mouth and just more force their way out in his jaw dislocates. Um, Guys, I don't want to be alarmist, but this is not going well so far. I'm not sure exactly what you are supposed to be doing. Um, is the eye like... How far away is the eye? It's basically like, it's kind of ephemeral. It feels close, but it's also down the hall a ways. Okay. Like, so it's, it's, not, it's not an object that's in the it's room. It's not a physical thing. It's a presence that's taking up your perception. Okay, that's my turn. Cool. Old dog. Second verse, same as the first. I'm going to cast Agnar's Scorcher. Okay. Yep, uh, so I need a DC 14. Dex. Saving throw. That was a nat 20. Okay, well, he's taking half. Good mm -hmm. luck. <laughs> uh, can I get that D, uh, D8 again? Oh, God. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I don't know if you could see that on the... That's an eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see that. <laughs> 10, oh, that, might, that might be a short later. <laughs> all right, it was amazing. 10, oh, 14. you know what's going to be a short later? Is it all the ones? Yeah. Yeah. I was just cut together. I'm going to try to get all the ones. <laughs> so, uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So, uh, he takes 7 points of He takes 7 damage. points. He is still up. He takes 7 points of flamboyant scorched. damage. Um, yeah. 7 points of sexy damage. And he doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't make him on fire, but. Yeah. He's crispy. Does make yeah. him hot. Crispy. So uh, I go down again and go up. Again. Correct. Do I have to worry about spell slots on top of this, or is it? Oh, I can cast until I die. No, you're you're using up your spell slots. Okay, all right. So you have a limit to what you can do. Fine. I wanted to cast spells until I die. That sounds great. You uh, will get to a point where that's possible. Like if you keep leveling this character up somehow. Um. Yeah. All right. So four. Skin. And then institution, I now have a zero. Make sure you're adjusting your hit points for that too. Is it automatically? It's automatic. 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 Cool. Yeah. My HP, max HP, 14. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but I got a plus five in intelligence. Uh, that will be the end of my turn. All right. Bad guys. There is a single bad guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to roll to attempt to grapple you again. Yeah, bring it on. Let's go. Got a 60. Yeah, that's my, can... that's my AC. Okay. You are currently grappled. Wait, can I have the crab give him the health action? No, because the crab is a It's an attack. It's not a... Yeah. Uh, it's not so, a save. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I am very good at those. 19. All right. You will take half damage from this. It's 2d6 poison damage. I'll take half of that half damage because you will. I'm ready. So seven, halved to four, halved to two. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking dumb. But <laughs> the important bear. thing here is you have avoided the poisoned condition. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking into poison uh, last night while working on mm-hmm. the uh, Grong Artificer Alchemist. That shit's wild. Yeah, poison's great. <laughs> poison's fantastic. Yeah, poison's <laughs> fucking <laughs> mean. Because <laughs> Grongs can just touch you and just be like, make yeah. a safe throw. Mariana? <laughs> I would not allow um, that in my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Have I realized, like, roughly how much time has passed since we started this? You've been attempting to get out of here for a couple hours now. Okay. Um, it's like the Han Zimmerman. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I think at this point, uh, I might get the feeling like I need to cut and run because there's still so much more to go in order to get out. Well, um, also, this guy is looking very fucked up right no, now. No, 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 I, I know this. I'm just saying, like, to move it faster. Yeah. Um, and not you're about stop. Through the mountain right and now. not stop at, like, every bad guy because time is sort of of the essence, I'm getting a feel, and other <laughs> gods are trying to invade my brain. So, I'm not happy with that. Um, I'm going to have. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I'll just... take my bonus action to have Charlie the crab um, attack. attack. Yeah, yeah. felt so fancy drinking soda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... I just realized it sounds like this was double painted. All your digits are red right on okay. the inside, so you can. So That's a really roll. cool dice, right? Yeah, it's fucking baller. <laughs> no, Arcanum <laughs> dice. Go check them out. Does a they have a website. Hit. Is what? 17 hit? It does. Okay, awesome. Um, the target is now grappled. Okay. You uh, grappling the grappler? I love it. Yes. Um, the <laughs> Squeezing me, you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little crab attached to the guy who's Yeah, that to is you. good. Yeah, yeah. Put the clippers yeah. on the, put the clippers on the pincers. And then it is going to take, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going to take piercing damage. Okay. So... Oh, also, uh, for those of you who are interested, I found uh, out that Converse is doing custom D and D shoes. If you are interested in something like ten, that. that's cool. Uh, piercing damage. How does this little crab boy kill this tentacle monster? Man, I blew like, him up with fucking two lasers. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Like, crab. Uh, amazing. <laughs> like scissors, um, Clarice just kind of cuts through all the tentacles until it splits in half. Amazing. You are, snip, yeah! snip, snip, you are, snip, I'm snip, holding two spectral axes above me and then my rage fails and I don't think, go away. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you are covered in just horribleness as it, this thing like <laughs> dies bloody and tentacled muck and the crowd explodes. turns blinded, around blinded by the uh, this at you. <laughs> <laughs> blinded, blinded by the uh, Light. Viscera. You need this to be above a six. I'm just like swinging my special axes around, <laughs> like, come on! Above a six? Oh, that's not gonna happen. And then Wait, above a six? Above a six. Oh, okay. or, no, I'm sorry, you need it to be below, below a six. six. Right. Yeah, uh, but it was a ten. All right. 
We all take one point of damage again? No. Um, I was trying to determine whether or not it would attack you or it would do something to stop you. Now it's going to do something to stop you. The creature begins to howl and the mountain shakes. There is a cave-in in front of you. No. As oh, fuck. As the whole cavern collapses in on itself, blocking off your quick access out of this mountain. So the only option is down? Down and, back and up, up again. Into the pit where you found the idol. But there is a way out through there? Yes. Okay. Well, well we have weapons, so, I mean... And with that, we gotta go to break time because I have to go to the bathroom so Very good. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll so we should be back in in a few seconds. Well, actually, probably more like 10 minutes, so yeah. don't go anywhere. Yeah? Christoph would be very sad if you do. <laughs> Just hug your kids, hug your crabs. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Above Table. The Conan one-shot. Yeah. Uh, I will give everybody a quick recap. Uh, our adventurers here were uh, unfortunately enslaved in a mine where they found an artifact. Should our group name be the Hiberian hibern- hi- hi- Hibernators? Hyborian Hibernators? Hiborian Hibernators? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with that. They found an artifact for which harbinger. their Hibernators? Enslavers were incredibly grateful and was gave them real food for the first time in a long time and light, which they hadn't seen in, I think, months at that point, if yeah. not longer. Um, and then the screaming began and they've been getting attacked by insane prisoners and guards and guys with tentacles coming out of their mouths. Uh, and a great eye assaulted them, and their gods and knowledge saved them from being destroyed by the mind of this creature. So, they've been trying to get out of this mine. Unfortunately, the quickest way out has just been destroyed by this being. They have another way out, though. They have to go down into the pit where they found the idol in the first place, and then back up the other side to get to the exit. You guys are sitting here. You've got your cave-in cave in, in front of you. The only way is the only way now is to go back. This is terrible. I was so close to seeing my brother Jahar. I'm sure he's on the other side waiting for me. I pat his head. And I start walking down. <laughs> Alright. So you guys are heading down towards the pit. Correct? Yes. Alright. No, we're going the back of the way we came. You're going back the way you came and you're taking the other branch down towards the pit. No, I don't fucking know. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what Crazy Man would do. What do you want to do? Well, based on the description that you gave. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to need a couple of things here from you guys. First is, this trip is going to take long enough that you get another short rest out of it. Okay. What, backtracking, you mean? Yeah. Okay. I shall take that short rest. Do we get rages back on the short rest? I don't believe so. I do not. Aha! I am back to full HP. Which is? 14. <laughs> <laughs> I was at 13, but I'm like, all right, fine. Um, all right, so you got your short rest in. First thing we're going to do is determine how we're going to be doing our rolls to get down the mine shaft. Um, seeing as you're the one who remembers the route, I would like another survival check from you. DC 15, if you pass this, you guys will be doing your I'm checks with advantage. It's only using one to point. Um. Can I get the help action from the crab? You can. Sweet. I will be casting a cantrip control flames. So just light our path. Done. Excellent. So that's a very new trick you'll have to do. What's up? I don't eat fire, but thank you. Meats. You will. Meats? Good. <laughs> Alright. Your ranger, uh, 
your ranger's knowledge and memory of this uh, uh, mine shaft that you're going down is going to give you advantage on your rolls. Basically, mm-hmm. you are following her guidance, okay. and that is going to give you advantage on these next few skill checks to get down the mine shaft. Sounds good to me. So, first thing is I'm going to need athletics checks from everybody for just the basic climbing down this mine shaft. Uh, uh, but you get it with advantage. Oh, sweet. That's, yeah, that's why I said all your checks are with advantage because of the guide. Ah, so much better. All natural right. 2 and natural 17. Fail <laughs> dice give me 20. give me strength. Oh, God. And 17, so 20 total. 20? Okay. 22. 22? That isn't mine. Get that on the table. <laughs> that is a 7. So uh, I... Roll it on the table. You fell up. Dropped on the ground. The four? Four. That's four. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the nine plus my four. So um thirteen? The DC was twelve. Aha. So you all pass. Nobody takes damage climbing down the jump mine shaft. Second check. You guys have been climbing for a little while. There's kind of flat areas with steps you can walk. There's some places you have to actually go down ropes. Um, and you're just working your way down this mine shaft into the pit. You've made this trek several times in the pitch black. So actually, her guidance is helping, but seeing things is almost making it worse. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, um, but you're making it through just fine. Uh, that being said, things are changing as you go down. The walls are getting slicker. The darkness is becoming more like it's emanating and less an absence of light. The lube on these walls are feeling familiar. <laughs> you know? Same. <laughs> All right, um, I, I'm not dreaming this, right? This is very, like, you know, oh, wait, never mind. Your crab is becoming anxious. <laughs> Lots of clicking. <laughs> Well, since I can, the moisture is making my crabs since I, can, <laughs> since I can talk to it, what does um, uh, what does Carrie say? No, bad, bad, no, no, predator. <laughs> Do you want to go back home? <laughs> I'll send you back home. Help. You're fine. I'll help you. <laughs> you will, or you'll go home. <laughs> Um, you guys continue down. Uh, the darkness around you begins to pulsate. Everybody make a dexterity saving throw. Urgh. Again, with advantage. I'll need it for this one. God damn. All right, six plus a dex. Why? Six. Why now? <laughs> I got six. Okay. First roll. They got for advantage. First roll, not even needing advantage. That's a nat 20, and then I have a plus six. It's our All first right. one. There's our first one. There we go, there we go. Uh, Second, actually. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. So uh, I rolled a natural two, but then I rolled a natural 18. Okay. <laughs> you got a total of Woo. 19. Six. Six. I have a plus zero. So you uh, guys all I? successfully avoid the tentacles that reach out to smack you and grab at you. 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 Get cold cocked in the face. <laughs> um, you should look out for that. Oh, make a constitution saving throw, please. Motherfucker. I'm giving that up for it. All these saves. All these saves. Uh, wait, wait. Constitution. Not with advantage. No, not this one. Um, that is a nine? Yeah, dots down. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a nine. <laughs> you have a poisoned condition. Fuck! And you take four points of damage. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. And I put I put my mouth on the spot where his leg whoa, 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 whoa. got, and I just tried sucking the poison out real fast. <laughs> okay. So, whoa, whoa. Kind of a... We have medicine. <laughs> yeah. So, if somebody wants to make a medicine check. That's what I'm trying to do, but I'm yeah. not very good at it. But I'm... Just you, sucking you, on We're going to go with his. Leg. If you... If you roll a one on this, you're going to be rolling to be poisoned. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, <I'm down. laughs> All right, so my medicine is plus two. Okay. What is that? That's 
Six. That is total of eight. That's not enough. You right. do not. You do not solve the poison. But so I'm you just. Don't where where, where does he get hit at? Where does he get like? In the face. His ass. <laughs> So I'm sucking on his oh. ass. <laughs> I'm like, I won't get, get the poison out. Hold on, just hold still. God damn it. <laughs> this poor old man. <laughs> Bend over more, I can't reach. My you God. are still poisoned. <laughs> you feel slightly violated. <laughs> You no, trust have, me, I've done this before. You have a horrible taste in your mouth that's not going away. <laughs> You're also sweaty. I was about to say, like, none of our characters have showered. <laughs> Nobody showered. Um, trying to, trying to right. save my friend's life. <laughs> Take him up for the team, y'all. <laughs> you Please. 60 years of ass in your mouth. Please roll me perception checks. <laughs> Wait, well, can he have an disadvantage because his face is my ass crack? Exactly. <laughs> this is later. <laughs> All right, there we go. Can he have disadvantage because his face is in my ass crack? <laughs> right. That is a sentence that just got uttered in the universe. Um, oh my god! I got a. Right. I'm trying to do my grim dark shit here, and I got these fucking clowns. All I right. mean, what, dude? <laughs> hey, I wouldn't really go there with you. Like a you know dark. how DMing goes. I know. <laughs> I'm fine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty total. Twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. Everybody passes. Uh, as you travel. Uh, deeper into the uh, the pit, um, you start to see an orange glow come from the bottom of the mine shaft. There's fire down there. That is one hot hole. Mm. I'm just making an observation. Why is everyone laughing? The fire better not be my favorite skulking corner. So, you guys I come that to corner. Um, the down into the pit. Uh, it is. I will point out when I see this glow, I'm going to uh, disband control flames. Okay. Yeah, just FYI. That right. is fine. As you were. You guys will enter into. Pull this back. The pit, which you've never seen in light before. You were always scrambling around down there. In the middle. You find an altar. Uh, That's probably the most uh, used piece of terrain I have. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you turn it upside down and it was just like a bud somewhere? It's on the opposite side of you guys. And like right it, there? Yeah. yeah, and put this guy on it. Oh. So. You guys have never seen. I have a painted teeth looking source right now. That'll work too. It's the Adrian mini. Oh, the Adrian mini. Uh, work too. It's almost the same as that one. No, put Ono up there. I saw him earlier. I didn't oh. grab him. He's running or something. Oh, put Ono is. on the fucking throne like the king he is. Perfect. Yeah, that works. Can I throw that on there? I just need somebody holding fire, really, is what I wanted. He is holding fire. Excellent. It is blue fire, but he's holding it. That's fine. <laughs> That last conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, Robert, it, these guys are always fun. Um, <laughs> so, here's what's going on. Um, you guys have never seen this, but uh, actually, just give me a straight like D20 roll. And Imagine walking into the room during that last conversation. <laughs> yeah. I think Robert did that. Yeah, probably. You're welcome. <laughs> just give me a straight D20, everybody, and tell me who, um, who rolls highs. Wait. Robert, isn't he the guy who named uh, the yes. SIMS? Yep. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> who held our highest? Yeah. Natural 20. Natural 20? Uh, I don't know what it's for, so I don't know if that's good or not. Yeah. <sighs> I got a 14? Okay. So, this is determined which one of you actually found the idol. And this actually oh, works okay. out well. Yours was the first hand to touch the idol. You realize when you see this altar in the middle that that's where you found it in the center. After seeing it, you remember crawling around and what that felt like. So that is where the idol was. Now this entire room has flames darted all over it. There's a large flame behind. It looks different than last I was here. 
you never saw anything the last time you were. It was because it was dark. It when was I... pitch black. Got it. You guys were just thrown in here and told to dig and find something. Was well, this is new? Um, and at past the altar, on what seems to be like a throne that has jutted out of the rock with runes on it that are glowing with orange flame energy is what you recognize as the head guard, the guy who runs this facility. But it's different now. His skin is black and red modeled, and those aren't horns on the top of his head. He has writhing tentacles that have sprouted from his forehead. Dope. You. And he is car- and he is holding flame, and he's just mesmerized as he's dancing it between his hands and playing with it. I would not like to cast control flames. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert, we have had a second uh, episode of Droville. It is on the YouTube page if you want to go watch it. it the second episode is actually amazing, <laughs> and we and we get very detailed about Sims. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there's posters posted and official. Th- Conversations and people hiring Sims. It's very. It's it is the campaign now. And, th- th- <laughs> and I will also point out that I have made a legitimate poster for the group, and it's fantastic. Yeah, that it's, is. It's really good. I love it. That is the premise of the entire campaign. Is now Sims. Thank so, you. Thank you for that. <laughs> so great. Well, both Kaylee and so Bree, they love it so much. Mm-hmm. But yeah. All right. All right. So. Um, I cast control flames. It does oh. nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, legitimately, like it does nothing. Because this is not real fire. This is from somewhere else. Oh, fake this fire. Is, it's not fake. <laughs> it is worse. Can I do something as we see this? You may. I want to use my magical awareness. Okay. To do what? What are you to, trying to figure out? So I will. it will allow me to determine the presence and nature of any magic within 60 feet of me. We'll call him within 60 feet and the altar and everything like that. Okay. Um, So, uh, is it just you do a roll? It's basically detect magic. Okay, you do detect magic. It's just the barbarian version of detect magic. You (laughs) extend your new senses Mm -hmm. that you got from exerting your will and your sense of freedom and choice against that being. He didn't choose that. He chose the thing. So the same magic is in him that was trying to invade all of you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Can I do one thing before we try and get into combat? Yes. Hand me Chop Chop. Chop Chop, what what, what Chop Chop? Oh, 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 zip. Is this one, my my main one? The one that says, okay, this one. If I am holding this and I cast Green Flame Blade and then hand it back to him, well, it's still... No, Green Flame Blade is a thing that you do with an attack like Smite. Okay. It's not a persistent effect no, on a weapon. No, it's specifically one action that I have to use on an item that will then be applied to the next attack. No, Green Flame Blade is an attack. No, no, because it takes one action to do so. Like I can't attack. Yeah, but it's not. I, don't think, I think what he's saying is not on a specific item. It's yeah, just... it, it's part of an action that you take. It isn't attached to an item. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. You cast Green Flame Blade. You attack with Green Flame Blade, and it does its thing. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Never mind. I did not. Awesome grab... idea. Yeah. No. Very did cool. not. Did not grab. Chop Why are you chop? focusing so hard on that? <laughs> it doesn't look. It looks like you're constipated. How about <laughs> just? I will take this back now. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, fair. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't have worked anyway. Fine. Uh, then I would, the next. It's, well, that's the next yeah. I would like to cast a first level spell. You are initiating initiative then. Yes. Okay, roll initiative, everybody. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, actually, very well. Um, what will is my, happening? Will my, yeah, the luck is turning. What is happening? Will my spell go off before initiative or? Initiative, unfortunately, the way it works is I will give you, well. Because if I'm initiating it, it should still go off. It would be the surprise. I mean, that's up to the DM. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing any damage. So you're walking in, you're not going to talk to him, you're not going to engage with this, you're just going to pop a spell. 
It's not a damaging spell. What is it? What are you doing? Grease. Grease? Where? <laughs> Just around him. <laughs> That counts as assault. <laughs> <Why? laughs> Vegetable oil. <laughs> so if you want to initiate, if you just want to go to town, you can. I'm not going to stop you, but that is going to start initiative. Okay. All right. Fair. Uh, then I will not do that. Okay. So, so as as you raise your hands up, getting ready, anything like um. I, uh, you all is a very smart one, but maybe we uh, see what this person has to say. Maybe we could just talk our way out of this one. He doesn't look like, um, well, I mean, he looks very threatening, but I won't lie. But, <laughs> but perhaps we could just be like, oh, we are also gods of the great gods that of the eye that you are worshipping. Yes, and just walk around some, yeah? Perhaps. I, I, you guys are free to move into the chamber wherever you would like for right now. I will go right here. Not going in the pit, and I'm not going. I will not. Now. I will not go in the pit. I will go around, but a little closer. Uh, like here. Uh, yes, about there. Mm-hmm. What about you? I'm gonna stay where I'm at. What about the cramp? Same. <laughs> so, Sky, you're the closest, correct? He doesn't stop playing with the fire, his expression doesn't change, but his, just his eyes turn and lock to you. None of his actions have changed. And he looks at you and he goes, <laughs> the failure arrives. Uh, yeah, I am the failure. I am, <laughs> I am so failed. I have failed everything in life up to this point, and I'm going to probably continue to fail. So I should probably just leave with my friends out the door, and we will just be gone from you for forever, yeah? As you state your intentions to just go through, mm -hmm. the flame behind him fans out into a large wall of fire. Yeah, now I cast grease. <laughs> okay, well, that is, um, I mean, that is not ideal. We, we are very flammable people, and maybe you've noticed, uh, especially my friend over here with all the greasy rags. Um, may we please not die? Zotly demands destruction and are you a fan of vegetable oil? <laughs> <laughs> I cast grease. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative, cast a grease spell. Right. Oh, yeah, I already did. Yeah. Oh, God. What do you got for initiative? Uh, 19. 19. Can oh. I get the, the stick of uh, distance? You may get the stick the of distance. Stick. Give me the a stick of truth. Where is it? Behind you on the ledge. Ah, there it is. I need 60 feet. I think that I'm still within... Yeah, <laughs> perfectly. Um, so, it's a... Uh, Have seen Army of Darkness, yes, Robert. <laughs> um, Many times. Yeah, that's... Have played a drinking game during Army of Darkness. What is the game? Every time uh, Bruce Campbell gets hit in the head. Yes. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, don't do shots during that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> God. God. Just do sips. It will fuck you up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it covers the ground in a 10-foot square. I'm going to say, like... Where he's sitting. This and is like, my boob stick. Bam. Okay. Over here. Um, uh, and if he moves, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. I think the map. Oh wait, no, no, no. He has to make adjusted. it right now. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Slightly up and slightly over. That's probably perfect right there. Let's see what happens. How did I? Look at that. Hey, look at that. Hey, that's good. Look at this. All right. <laughs> All right, so I need uh, your creature to make a dex 15 saving throw. Dex 15 saving throw. Yeah. He got a... 17. Okay, fine. He does not slip. Also, he's sitting down in a throne right now, so... He might have slipped on his ass. I don't fucking know. Vegetable um. oil. <laughs> all, right, uh, all right, and then initiative. Yeah, but also do your stat changes. Shit, yeah, that's first level spell. Mm -hmm. it, it, it won't, it won't affect too hard, but uh, the, that's seven plus five. Twelve. Twelve for initiative. All uh, right, twelve for old dog. Oh god. So we got nineteen. We got twelve. What do you got? Nat twenty plus four. Oh well, in that case, you're going first. Let me roll for him, and that's going to be he's going last. Oops. Damn it! All right, there. We go. And 
plus. All right. Um, Excellent. It. Okay, so, to start off with... Trenchy beans. You're going to need to get much closer to hit him, I think. Mm. Me? How? What's your range? 600 with a longbow. Jesus fuck. That's at disadvantage. What's, what's your first, the first number in that? 150, but still. You're within yeah. 150. Okay, cool. So I can <laughs> Yeah, Rangers. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to... <laughs> Please, Lord, no. Um, okay. The dumb wizard turns into dragon. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to have Colby move um, over to uh, Old Dog next to him, like, protect him. Thank you. And he just does the click move at you. You need um, to get you a crab mini. <laughs> and then... Yeah, it's true. And then... Um, Don't come up often. I'm does. gonna take my action, and I'm gonna <laughs> roll to attack him. Okay. So... Um, that is... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. That will hit, yes. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, Amazing. All right. Just and letting then... everyone know, I now have a minus one to constitution. So, <laughs> my max HP is eleven. Damn. <laughs> Squishy. But he has plus six to his intelligence. Baller. Um, that's ten damage as I let another arrow sail from my hands. Also, don't forget during that short rest, you could have used your arcane um, recovery recovery to get a spell slot back. I'm going to get a second level. Okay. Ten points. With Ten your... points. And that's my turn. Ten this points? This is the first time I've ever, yep. ever played a wizard before, so... No, it, that's why I reminded it you. It is the second time. PRS2 own. Sorcerer. Oh, was it a sorcerer? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Old dog is first wizard. He's All right. Be, he's probably going to be the last <laughs> wizard, too. I mean, level three is a good, is a good time to do a wizard. Yeah. Because it's challenging. <laughs> okay, uh, what were we doing? I finished my turn. Yeah, okay. Hit him with an arrow for 10 damage. Okay. The arrow hits him, and he kind of gets knocked back into his seat, but he's still playing with the fire. He's just kind of... Spit at him. Wait, that was a good shot, but this is not good. <laughs> while he's covered in grease. He is, he is, he is drippy. You. <laughs> He's trippy. <laughs> you, you should set him on fire somehow. I am seeking of this, uh, this sink. But also, you are yeah. also before him. Yeah. So, Mariana. Um, where exactly did you place the grease? Did you all in front of him? So it's here, one uh, five feet in front, and then over the side. So I keep this way. Okay. Yeah. Is grease five foot radius or five foot? Ten. It's a ten foot square. Oh, Temple Square? Yeah. Mm. That's, way, that's way smaller than I thought Grease was. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alright, so, but it's... Not here? It's not there. No. Okay. I just flung a pot of Grease at him. You took the lid off the canola oil bottle. I just gets out. Yeah. And without hitting the grease, I think. Just yeah, hitting I'm him with I'm going to get right up into his throne and strike him from the side. Mm -hmm. It's microwave Crisco. Yep. <laughs> First, I'm going to rage. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Remember, you get Do I still, I still get advantage? As long as you're holding that weapon. Man, okay. you got my D100. D I know. I trust my dice more. I'm sorry. Well, give me my <laughs> D100 back. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first one? Uh, 10 and then 87. Okay. All right. We'll see what 10 is. 10. Ball bearing spill out of your clothing within a 60 foot radius. Each creature standing in this area must have seen a dexterity saving throw. Please! Or this further turn fall prone. Please! <laughs> <laughs> fucking please! <laughs> On top of the grease! What was the other one? 87. We'll I don't fucking Let me care. see what 87 is. It might be better. <laughs> Oh, no, this is what I'm doing. 
My skeleton becomes adamantine and I'm immune to critical hits. <laughs> until my rage ends. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, but, doing that. Uh, but the ball bearings is fucking Ball bearings is amazing. You Very feel tempting. searing pain of the forge as your bones turn to metal and you can feel your god Krom forging your skeleton in this moment. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, that is so good! Oh, this is so hot, I can't even stand it! Oh, I'm going to fuck you up! I strike with my great axe. I, I, love, I love how this is turning into an effeminate Arnold. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's exactly what I was going for. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is a 25 to hit. 25 will hit, yes. Uh, ooh, is that eight with a plus four? That is 12 points of slashing damage. Oh, no, no, that's more because I have raging going. That is 14 points of slashing 14 damage. 14 points of slashing damage. Yeah. All right. Just above table, like you are the new Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. That is Kristoff with a very good turn there, becoming immune to critical hits. I really hope that comes up like <laughs> layer. Do we have a layer action? We do have a layer action. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have all the layers. Fifteen and up is bad for you. Okay. Ten. <laughs> Just. I don't know what was going to happen, but thank God it didn't. Just <laughs> like <laughs> Hold on, your turn. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> hang on. Well, let's close Grease real quick. Grease is the word. Um, fire boats. Light sets Grease on fire. You set it, it up. Light it on fire. Hang on. Do it. Uh, I, I'm uh, trying to determine if I'm going to go with Scorcher or Scorching Gray. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, uh, Agnazar's Scorcher because it's a uh, 3d8 instead of the 2d6. Um, so, yeah, I do that. DC 15. Uh, Dex. So he gets a 12. Okay, so he fails. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be taking extra damage because of the grease as well. Yes. Okay. So, I think uh, grease has it, has it in there as far as what that is. Um, No, it does not. Oh, really? It just says slick grease covers the ground. Um, I guess my, that might be a DM discretion then. We yeah. might did it on the thing. I've always, I've always. It lights on fire. No okay. good. Yeah, lights on fire. All right, so I need. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in the actual spells. So D8. That's up to you. <laughs> uh, D8, and then I'm stealing another D8 from you, and we will be rolling dust damage. And roll a D6 for the uh, the grease catching on fire. Sweet. The grease is gone. Now. Yeah. Okay, so I got a three. Mm-hmm. No, no, that, yeah, that's a three. Then a five. That's a one. So four. Wow. Nine. Mm-hmm. Fifteen points of fire damage. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So the fire spell hits him. The grease lights on fire, and he stands up and just. Breathes in a lot of that fire, and it doesn't seem to do much to him. Um, guys, this does not seem very good. Why? He is literally breathing in the fire, and he doesn't seem affected at all. Oh, hang on, Scorcher. So uh, that was a level two spell. <laughs> <laughs> is it two points every time? No, if it's, it's your it's your it's your spell slot that you used. Oh my god! So, <laughs> is that level two? Yeah. The idea here, the idea, part of the idea behind this is also to get people to use things that aren't just damage spells. You want to be doing stuff that is benefiting from your increased stats. Word. So I got a plus six to initiative. Move my ass up. No, um, yeah, no. All right. My max HP is eight. <laughs> What's your intellect? Above uh, table. It's plus six. 
above table. <laughs> he is a massive super genius. <laughs> We're gonna pull us to eat the fucking arcana right now. <laughs> you look so smart right now. <laughs> my Your brain is just yeah. swelling. <laughs> this is a mega mind situation. Your fucking green bean arms are so much smaller though. They look like little sprouts, little it's, alfalfa sprout so, arms. So here's the thing. No. He, is, he is in the process. He is being very corrupted. His body is actively wasting away. You can see like sickly purple veins starting to stick out from very pale skin. Your legs look like little, He's, little noodles. You are beginning to look skeletal. It, it, <laughs> little weakling noodles on your legs. So here's the fucking thing. Okay, so you're going down to all the skills at 0008000008. I got a six in the legend, but fuck. <laughs> God. All that's, right. that's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> It's a fun. It's fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. We'll find something that does psychic damage. Because right now you'd be like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> or just make people take saves against his intelligence rolls. That's what I mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. charms. Yeah, charms. Uh, uh, all kinds of fun stuff you can do. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I'm going to also move over here just to get a better blind of sight of this guy. Okay. Um. But uh, after my action and movement, that will be the end of my turn. Excellent. Bad guy. Just As I said, he stands up from his chair, breathes in the fire. My big axe still in his chest. I mean, he's ignoring it. It's a, it's a flaming grease axe on his on his chest. It's a tickle. It, it, you should have went with Bob Aarons. <laughs> <laughs> the flames in his hands coalesce into a great sword. Ah! <laughs> You become hexed. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> As he looks into you, you disappointed the master. How was I supposed to know? I'm just trying to be the best. Uh, I'm going. There's a wall of fire. You take the wall of fire down. I just leave. There's no disappointment for someone that doesn't eat here anymore. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. 15 doesn't hit you, does it? No. Both his attacks miss. Oh my God. <laughs> Just hear me from the back, like, whooping and hollering, like, <laughs> loser. Uh, it is Mariana's turn. Okay, so I'm going to take my action and knock another arrow to fire at him. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's an 18 to hit him. He casts shield and goes to 23. Fuck. Well, do you want to do anything with crab? Gonna have him return to me, actually, and end my turn. What? He's roughly thirty feet, correct? Well, he's effectively taking the dodge action anytime he moves. Right, but that so, doesn't extend his his movement speed. Oh wait, no, dashing is double. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So he's back there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, at the end of your turn, he uses his legendary action, because he's tired of pot shots being fired at him, to cast Eldritch Blast at you. Legendary action on level three. <laughs> he only has one. I mean, there's only one dude, too. Yeah. You can bullshit. So, um... <laughs> Yo, what's can, I take, can I use my bonus what action? What happened to our voices? To <laughs> he, he, this yeah. is what Hex does to me? God damn it! You either moved or you didn't. <laughs> he, he hexed my sexiness! <laughs> you sound like you missed your fish. Uh, on the plus side, he rolled a total of a 10 to hit. Loser! <laughs> so, Game! You're getting passed up for that promotion. Oh, God. So You were the guard I liked least. So the blast smashes next to you mm -hmm. and lights the stones next to your head on fire. Okay. 
Uh, so I have a question for you. If I was to produce another crap... <laughs> what? Could you, in theory, do Beastmaster... Where's Master this crap for... coming from? No. No, it would not, uh, would not apply. Her no. Beastmaster shit is applied to her... Creature. Okay, alright, alright. All right. However, if you wanted to cast, like, Mirror Image on it, then I could move it and it would have that benefit. No, 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 it's specifically Find Familiar. I'm able to make another crap. <laughs> I mean, sure, for yourself. <laughs> crab game, crab game. I could talk to it, maybe. <laughs> But uh, well, so could he because it's his familiar. Yeah, I know. yeah uh, the thing is, is that if I make a crab, my max HP goes down to six. <laughs> well, then why? <lie. laughs> I was just wondering if you were able to take this thing and make it attack because mine can't. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah, okay, all right, nah, bro. all right, Christoph. God damn it, guys, I'm hexed. <laughs> it, it just hits in my voice. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I, I guess it. He has hexed your strength. I feel so weak. <laughs> should I just swing at him again or should I? So I don't believe uh, strength hexing is going to. Put it's not going to do anything on my uh, attacks attack or rolls. It's your strength checks. I yeah, believe. yeah, yeah. Like strength checks or saves. Hit mm him -hmm. again. Uh, Hit him again. Yeah. I'm, well, so this is. I'm, I'm a barbarian. There's not a lot else, else I can do. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing at him with my axe. Screw you for hexing me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Natural two. <laughs> oh and he's still got a shield up because it hasn't been his turn again yet. Yeah, so. I <laughs> That's my turn. All right. <laughs> Goes back to the lair. Mm -hmm. So this one's just a flat. It's not building up. I do anything. have two weapons. I, hold on. I do. No, I don't anymore. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, you don't have your axes. No, never mind. I, I forgot that. So again, you want 15 and below. That, I think, is a crit. That is a 19. Okay. Balls! The wall of fire moves up 10 feet into the room. There is a bag in there, by the way, that does have a wall of fire, if you want to eat. Oh. The, in the uh, cabinet. Sweet. Yeah, it's like a bunch of wall of fire, right? Mm -hmm. So basically... Will you yes, please set up a we, wall we will for me? We will bestow. <laughs> it is now currently past you. You are inside of it, uh, this guy. Oh, Jesus. How big is this thing? Uh, it's across the whole way, so just set up what you need to get that effect across. Fire. Mm. So I, how much damage do I take from Brother Side of Fire? Uh, you will be taking... Does he take damage for being passing through the fire? It is yeah. his fire. You take <laughs> two points of damage. Seven. Two points of damage. Okay. <coughs> but how? <coughs> no, because I'm not a bear totem one. Oh. Wait, it's all, all physical damage mm -hmm. for normal yeah. other barbarians. Uh, I, sh I should have held an action, but I didn't know that that would happen. At least I'm already on this side. Mm -hmm. No, no, it is filling the room. Oh. You are in fire right now. So, so it's fire all the way yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this, guys. Um, that's going to happen every turn that you're in it. Can I ask a question? You may. When he did the fire damage, did it look like it like did damage? It looked like it didn't do much. Hmm. Mm. It impacted him. It did something. Why did I make a pyromancer? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I think we need to do something a little bit different. All right. Um, that was layer action. Old dog! I'm going to cast Control Flames as a cantrip, removing the fire within your square so you're <coughs> no, no longer on fire. This... All right, I'm going to tell you something right now. Okay. This fire is not being created by him. You are going to be going up against something with a very powerful will. Mm. It is going to be a very high check. You can do control flame, but you're going to have to do an arcana check against it. And I'll tell you right now, you have to get above a 16. But you will be able to remove the flame 
I have to roll an eight. eight. <laughs> huh? I'd have to roll an eight to do that. That's fine. This is the benefit of what's been happening. To yeah. You. Um. It almost seems almost worth it. Huh? Almost seems worth it. Yeah. I. I. You know. Uh, yeah. I'll do it. Okay. So I'm gonna cast control flames, diminishing the fire in the five foot square that you're in. Um. This is sweet, guys. It's like I'm in a little cone of cold. Uh, <laughs> and um. Above an eight. You got a six. Oh! <laughs> or is that a 16? Nope. What is that? That is a six. Okay. Fuck. No. <clears throat> well, at least you didn't critically fail. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been bad. Luckily, that was a cantrip, so uh, it didn't apply to my constitution and intelligence fucking balance thing. Um, and... So he's right there on the edge of the fire, yeah? Yeah, he's just in that. And the fire moved up 20 feet from where it was. Yeah, I can't help you. That's fine. Sorry about that. I'm totally fine. All right. All right, so that's your action. That's that's my turn. Okay. So far I only got two points from that, so it's not too bad. Okay, all right. Yeah, you can take it. Bad guy! Time. Wait. Never mind. Hey! Stop hexing me, bitch! <laughs> you are still hexed. Does a 23 hit you? Cure! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where is that? So, you are going to take 11 points of slashing, 3 points of necrotic, I'm sorry, uh, 14 points of slashing, and 3 points of necrotic. Uh, so, what was the first one? 11? So it was 14 points of slashing. Okay. I, I, I miscounted. But it was 11 originally? It was 11 originally. So three more from that, and then how many? And then three points of necrotic. Okay. But you are raging, remember? That's right. So 14 would be... Oh my Seven. Gosh. That's why I was delineating the damage. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I was doing it as you said it, and then when you... <laughs> with yeah. Sorry. He's I was like, oh, fuck. Um... So he slashes at you. He seems very happy with his new environment. Grand. <laughs> so grand. Uh, he doesn't feel the need to move from where he is. Uh, it is now Mariana's turn. Uh, can I just, while you're thinking about what to do, how far is the exit from where we are? Uh... I'm gonna call it that the room is this big. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, on this side of the room is the exit for the mine itself. That's, yeah, you, you have to go back up the mm -hmm. same amount that you came down. Okay. But yes. But yeah, but it's this direction. It's that direction. But like a long ways, it's not like very close. No, no, it's like okay. a couple hours of climbing. Got it. Okay. Oh. Um, he had his turn. Uh, I'll go ahead and take my attack action to loose another arrow. That's an 11. That is not going to hit. Yep. I will give you my inspiration from Sky's campaign to apply to this one shot. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... I guess with my bonus action, uh, I could move. Yeah, I'll I'll move Caleb closer to me. What's his fucking name? It's it does, been changing every it time. Doesn't, it doesn't have one. It's not actually even a crab technically. It is a sea creature that I choose the shape of. Henry, Gail. <laughs> All right, Steven. It's Mariana's turn. Kristoff, you are up. I would like you to roll a constitution save as you are currently just in fire trying to breathe. Oh, yeah. Uh, exactly. 16. Oh. 16. Saddle pass. So you are just going to take normal damage on this. Six points. Jeez. Okay. Um, 
Get the fuck out of that. So fight. I will say this. He is currently like leaking like his wounds aren't bleeding, they're burning. Mm -hmm. And he has several cuts and and the big slash crossed him right now. So he's not if he's not showing it, but his body is taking a significant amount of damage. Okay. And you said that this fire isn't like real fire, it's his fire? It's Zotli's fire. It's the, the thing that's been in here. Okay, all right. So if I shoot fire in there, like, will it, like, just kind of dissipate or, like... No, you can you can still interact with, with this. Because all I got is fire. Man. I know. <laughs> I'm going to drop my rage and, and rage again. <laughs> <laughs> Ball parents, let's go. Okay. Last just Hail Mary. Uh, Hope for something that's gonna be good. Yeah. Ooh, 92. Alright. And 86. Ball bearings. Ball bearings. <laughs> but the ball bearings was like 10. Robert, uh, Robert says, speaking of Conan, my nine-year-old niece wants a boyfriend. I told her she's not allowed to have a boyfriend until he has defeated her in battle. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the riddle of yeah, yes, And then you can date room. my daughter. <laughs> Bring me the eyes of Set. <laughs> okay. What do you got going on here? Uh, so... <laughs> So I'm like, this is not cool, guys. And then I put my hands up, I put my axe back, and then my hands turn into crab claws. <laughs> and I try to grab him with the crab claws. Okay. Which is an attack roll. So keep in mind, you have lost your adamantine skeleton. I realize that. Yeah, okay. Uh... Mari just gestures vaguely. <laughs> 18? 18 hits. Okay. Uh, it is 2d8 plus strength. Oh yeah, so 15 points of bludgeoning damage, I guess, because it's, no, yeah. it's, pier it's or piercing. piercing, piercing damage. Right? Piercing, piercing damage. damage. 15 points. And he's grappled. So, drag boy. his ass. Oh wait, go ahead, there's a reaction thing. How does he die? Oh yeah! All right, cool. <laughs> um, so I grab him by the with one claw by the neck, and then I grab like some of the slash points that I've created, like just go inside his body, and then just okay. And then I back up. <laughs> <laughs> so his body falls to the ground, and he's still laughing. You guys, this is very disconcerting. He's not quite the fire begins to dissipate. But you notice that the reason it's dissipating is because it's going into his body. Do these go away? Yes, those go away. There is no longer the flame blocking the way, but... There are now walls of ice noted in... Instead of this man... A beast emerges, having been transformed by the flames. Um, guys, I don't know if you're seeing what I am seeing, but this is not good. Uh, it's very attractive, but... Do you think you can destroy the very essence of destruction? I am his herald. I will end all. Okay. Sounds very ominous. Uh, so, are we still to, uh, sticking my grab cloth? You're still in the same initiative, <laughs> right. but we don't have the layer action Connie anymore. And I are are you like done with your turn? With you. Yes. Okay. Old dog, you're up. Fuck. All right. Um, I used that model. The being in front of you, the best way I have to describe it, is a roided out mind flayer <laughs> with a great sword. Well, amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna play it safe right now because I don't know what's gonna freaking happen. 
and should I should I cast Grease again? <laughs> Slip. <laughs> it would affect you too, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, I mean, no. you can you can. No, I'm gonna do a Firebolt. I'm just gonna do a Firebolt, uh, which is, gives me a plus eight to hit right now based off my. Uh, yeah, do that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, does a ten hit? No. <laughs> <laughs> In no world does a ten hit a boss. <laughs> Yeah, no, I changed my mind. Cast Grease. No, but that's my <laughs> no, turn. That's, that's my turn. That's, that's my god, god. man. <laughs> All right. Should have cast Grease. Bad guy. Now, here's the thing. You are ugly and you smell funny. <laughs> the hex is dropped off. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. No, I, I noticed my voice is back to so normal. This is great. <laughs> but at the end of his turn, okay. he will be using a legendary action to try and Eldritch Blast uh, the Ranger again. Oh, shit. So, roll the hit. The 20 hit you. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, you might have some weird shit to I do. I got 8 HP, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you right. ranger, you broader. Uh, that is going to be no, fine. 6 fire damage. <laughs> ranger, I hardly know her. <laughs> 6 fire damage? Yes. No, the right here was the worst. <laughs> I was so mad about that. I was so <laughs> mad about that. I'd like to reiterate some of the things I said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. There are some things you can't just kill your way out of. That's all I can do. <laughs> Nothing else I can do. Um. If somebody wants to look around the room for something, maybe. No, all right. Uh, can I roll investigation or uh, perception? Yeah. What, what would you prefer? Um, it'll be investigation for this. Uh, that is a seven plus my investigation, which is a plus eight, so uh, 15. He's stood up and he's moved out of the way of the chair. Mm -hmm. Idol is in the chair behind him. Okay. 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 Do I see it since I'm standing so close to him? He could point it out to you. Do you see anything? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Barbie, let's go party. No, I, 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 I point at the chair. Uh, not at him, but at the chair. Yeah, he does swing at you, by the way, but he misses. Okay. You were able to block him with your axe. I, are you are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? He's, he's very close. The fucking chair. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So, I... <laughs> um. It is Mariana's turn. Okay. Um, from all the yelling, I'm gonna assume that there's the idol sitting in the chair. Um, and I'm going to take a shot at it, not at him. Okay. So, let's take This would be an amazing shot. Yeah, it's a non-moving item, so 13 plus 8 to my hit. Okay. Uh, no. What? A 21 doesn't hit an idol that you said was this big. No, a it's not that it doesn't hit, it's just your arrow hits stone and it just plinks off. Okay. It's a hunk of rock. Okay. I didn't chip it at no. all. Scrape it maybe. Alright. If we grabbed a microscope, we would see the slightest. I will I will say this. Here. Um I made mention of the fact of where you found it for a reason. Oh yeah, found it in the pit. Mm -hmm. Um, you should, you should run over there, grab it, put it in the pit. I'm a human, not an elf. I can't move that fast. Um, I like to cast Agnar Scorcher and shoot her across the room. That's not quite how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I take the dash. Well. No, but I can make um, Carlisle move. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> with my bonus actions and I love how subtle it's been of just like <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, what is Archimedes doing? <laughs> um, has you. It's so a little different funny. every time. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh dash. Another short should just be every name you've mm -hmm. <laughs> said. Mm -hmm. And so you can get right here. Okay. And then from there, I can um, unsummon and resummon my guy. That's an action. Bonus action. He can't move. Boom. I'm gonna get him. All right. That's all I can do. Okay. <laughs> Christoph. As he gets him ready to swing again as this guy is in front, he sees the idol and uh, he's like, swings it to pit. You're I not swinging with nothing. You have crab claws. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> but he grabs both claws around the idol and he runs to the pit. All right, you're going to take an attack of opportunity. I realize this. 17, so it hits you. Mm-hmm. He hits much, much harder now than he did before. Still half. You take 13 slashing and eight fire. So, so 13 would be halved? The 13 would be halved. To six or seven? Six. So, and you said eight fire? Eight fire. So 14 total? Mm-hmm. but he has used his reaction now. So you have it, and you're trying to go to the pit with it? Yep, I run and I jump into the pit. Cool. I don't know if this is going to work with my clap, Wait, crap hands just running. I'm like, ah, oh, you going to do it? You have 30 feet of movement? Yep. All right, so you ran over to the chair, so then you'd have 20. So here's the thing. Um, well, it's right in front of me. I'm not moving too Yeah, much. He's, yeah. They're, they're at the chair. I moved the chair back for the size of the model. Oh, okay, all right, fair. So, so if he's in the pit? He's in the pit. You run and dive into the pit? Mm-hmm. The idol makes contact with the pit, like the, the altar area, mm -hmm. and it feels like there's resistance, like you're putting it into a plug. The energy to this creature has been cut off. Give me an arcana check. That's a seven. Plus eight. Eight. So 15. That's enough. You can tell that this thing's not being fed anymore. It's starting to flake away. It's still dangerous, but it can die now. Okay. Um, so, specifically the idol or the creature? The creature. Okay. The idol is the plum. Okay. But also, as soon as that idol hits the ground, you begin to hear a rumble. Um, was that my action to do that? That is a free object interaction. Okay. So you can do an action still. I will throw a javelin. <laughs> With your crab hands. With my crab hands. I also want to make you go disadvantage for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a crit. So was on my fucking little oh, thing. That's right. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, thirteen total. Thirteen. Your old double dice. Oh, yeah. I double that I had. That's even better. Fourteen. Okay. So you did a total of fourteen. Total of fourteen. Okay. Piercing demos. Cool. He is not looking well. No. No, what have you done? But at the end of your turn, legendary action. I just got your little thing over here. Don't worry about it. Just continue doing what you are doing. Uh, he is going to Eldritch Blast you. Okay. Me? Yes, you. All right. Because he's very angry at you. And he rolled a nat 20. God damn it. <laughs> if you want out a mind player, you realize that I have, like, mind players at the house. Uh, good night, everyone. Uh, uh, it wasn't really, like, necessarily in my Okay, all right, all right, fair, fair. I have six hits points left. I'm going to be going to sleep now. 
I'm still worse off than you. <laughs> Nine force damage. I am down. Okay. <laughs> and that was your turn. Old dog! All right. Would you like to be up, or would you like me to ki- try and kill this thing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> shoot a fireball at it then. All right. Um, seven plus eight to hit, so fifteen. Fifteen does not hit him. Fuck, fuck you. All right. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, bad guy. Bad guy. How far away is he from you? Uh, too far. Can't touch me. Nope. <laughs> he is going to dash to run screeching at you. And it is now. Action to dash? Yeah, dash is an action. So oh, he doesn't I don't have know, that. he might not have a ro- rogue thing. No, he is very much a warlock. Nope. Trenchy. Uh, Mariana? I'm gonna use my movement to go over to Kristoff and I'll take my action to try and stabilize. Kristoff. Oh, Kristoff. So. I just don't associate Kristoff with the concept of a barbarian on the ground, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's the point. <laughs> <laughs> The rumbling is becoming more intense. You're starting to feel the ground shake. 20 total. You are stabilized. Hooray. That's good. Mm. One HP, one HP. And then with... Uh, I don't have one HP, I'm at zero, I'm just not dead. Oh, okay, fair. I'm just, I don't have to roll death saves. With my bonus action, I'm going to have um, Carmack move over to the Herald. Let's go, Luigi. <laughs> and attack him. Alright, we'll do attack. So, let's hope he hits. No, <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah, oh. so, he doesn't hit. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mariana's turn, Four. but you did Four. keep your barbarian from dying. You are at zero HP. I'm at zero HP. You are at zero. Does, oh, uh, yeah, we have no way to heal, do we? I, I have a way to heal. Okay. Yeah. But I'm kind of fucked right now. <laughs> Old dog. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, as Kristoff is lying there, you hear coming barreling down the hallway from the front. <laughs> <laughs> and a chicken. <laughs> Name Jahan is running. <laughs> the brother's a <of> chicken. <laughs> Fucking what? If you could understand chicken, he would be saying, Kristoff! <laughs> I can understand chicken. <laughs> my God. That's my turn. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. It's reasonable. I apologize for forgetting Jahan. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Fucking silly Gilgamesh, motherfucker. <laughs> Love it. Oh, god damn. Alright, so. <laughs> old dog's gonna turn around. Okay. And put his hands on the Herald's face. Alright. And cast Burning Hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so he needs to make a. Uh, what was it? Uh, Dex 16. He will be making this with disadvantage as he is currently falling apart. That is a nap one. Oh shit. Uh, I need 3d6. I got two over here. Can I get one more from the group? Yeah! Oh, I'm fucking flung it. Four, three. So eight plus. No, nothing. So nothing. Eight. So he takes four points of damage. Dicks. Fire. Hmm. Yeah. Fire. Um, 
and I turn into a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to turn right. into a dragon right uh, now because I'm scared. Bad guy is going to take a swing at you. <laughs> TPK! TPK! <laughs> We're gonna fucking die, and I'm fine with it, but fuck him. <laughs> He's rolling with disadvantage. Okay. Roll as he is currently dying. Roll that shit. 11 AC, what, two hit points left? 10 AC right now. Oh shit. Rolled a four. <laughs> plus? He has a plus five. So he oh. barely missed. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. How many hit points do you have right now? Four. <laughs> I got half my maximum, man. <laughs> Amazing. In Incredible. I should have cast Grease. <laughs> I just ran away. Incredible. The vegetable oil. Ah. I may have been a bit overzealous to not have a repeat of my Dracolich from last one. <laughs> um, oh, God. I go. Uh, uh, that's his turn. Uh, as a reaction, I'd like to cast Conjure Milk. <laughs> Ariana, you're up. Cast press digitation on my underpants. <laughs> I'd like to cast press ton digitation. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna roll for a standard attack. So I'm gonna knock another arrow at him. Eighteen. Okay, I thought you rolled another hits. fucking one. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, <laughs> really, you doubt my ability? <laughs> There's um, been eight ones tonight. Yeah, sh- <laughs> you don't. There's been more than that, because I just got another one. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so I'm at nine for what six, I've... I think we're at ten. Six, six, like, I've counted officially nine, yeah. so yeah. We'll know once the uh, the short comes out. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> ten, be a hard one to do. Ten points of arrow to mm-hmm. the face. <laughs> the arrow sticks through his neck and he begins to choke on his own flaming blood. Sick. So he's gay? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I'm just, my I'm gonna blood. use, wait, can I use my movement to get Kristoff up? You. I'm not conscious. Yeah, he's just stabilized. Oh. Yeah, he's at zero hit points, but not Shit. actively dying. No, the chicken will have to carry him out. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Above table, can I rifle through your pockets? Do you have any healing anything? No? Alright. Okay. Um. You do you have a rifle a, through my pocket. You have a bonus action to attack with a crab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll go for that grapple check. So. <laughs> Just grab the crab. The crab of grab. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's an 18 plus 8 to hit. That grapple. That's going to hit. He's grappled. He's grappled. And he's grappled and gonna take. Uh, how much piercing damage? Oh, shit. Pincer damage? Mm hmm. Okay, so it's. Wow. Damage as uh, Clarence decides to uh, <laughs> just like absolutely like use. Uh, hold on, let me interrupt. How does Clarence kill the Herald, the Herald of Zotley? Zotley. <laughs> All right, so it, how does Charlie kill the? <laughs> so, All C names. How yeah. does Chad? <laughs> yeah, how does Chad? Yeah, Chad. He has the, earned the name Chad, Chad the Crab. Yes. <laughs> Um, kind of like it. hunches down a little bit, kind of creating some pressure, and it like springs upward into the air and just clips I'm like so both claws right through the rest of his neck, beheading him. Fuck just, yeah! Let's go. Fuck so yeah! The head shatters away, but the body underneath 
that head is barely hanging on by like a thread as it peels away from the rest of the body. And you just hear his last words, even though he has no throat. You. It's glorious end. And he melts into ash. Forever. Time to run. (laughs) (laughs) The shaking, the, the rumbling has been getting very bad. I'm gonna come over here. And I'm going to cast Burning Hands. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> there's nothing we can do. Just cremation. It's gotta cremate. Wait, no, fuck! I don't have any healing spells. We have to carry you out. You're of here. a wizard. Of course, you don't have any healing spells. For, uh, no, no. I was working on the alchemist yesterday, and like I got that character sheet mixed up with this one. So we are going to be doing. A scene here where you guys are trying to drag him out. You have a trek of a couple of hours. There's also a chicken crying on his body. Yeah. You have a trek <laughs> of a couple hours to get out of here. The rumbling is more of a distant rumble right now, but it is very obviously growing and you feel shakes. Uh, I, I have an idea. Okay. Um, your crab's still out, yes? Mm-hmm. I'm going to make a secondary crab. Okay. And I'm going to pull out rope out of my Dungeoneer's bag, attach his body to the crabs, and we just keep on walking. That's fine, but just keep in mind, I'm going to continue something that we've been able to do this whole time. Mm-hmm. You can take a short rest and regain some things as long as nothing terrible happens. Okay. So for the first hour of travel... Myself included? Yes. For the, for, but before that happens, the mm-hmm. first hour of travel... Something terrible happens on a 19 or 20. Okay. 11. Good fuck. 11. Huzzah! You get a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. You have an uneventful first hour of travel. It's going to take you three hours to climb out of this pit. Uh, take short rest. And uh, do I get that uh, arcane... You only get that once a day. Once a day, okay, all right. I didn't know if it was per yeah. rest. Um, yeah, I got two first level spell slots left, <laughs> and then my cantrips. So, that was your first hour. Nothing terrible happened. The You do know there is an earthquake building mm-hmm. right now. For the second hour, 18, 19, or 20. I'm at 19 hit points. Something terrible happens. There are no more long rests. Or short rests. Seven. I don't have any more hit dice. Second. (laughs) You are climbing out. You've made it up to the top. And you've got the rest of the straight shot out that exists after the cave-in. Okay. Last roll. 17. 17. What what was the requirement? Well, it was 18, 19, or 20 last time. 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuck. Make something bad happen. A lone guard who doesn't appear to be insane stands in front of you and is going to attempt to stop you from leaving. <coughs> coughs up, Kristoff coughs up from blood. Like, do you, do you see what is behind us? <coughs> There's so much rumbling and everything is going to hell. You, you should come with us. Roll persuasion. Twelve. I have no pluses. Roll an insight for this guy. He believes that there's something awful that needs to be ran away from. So he's going to run with you. Yeah, just come on. You, you come with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys make it out. The rumbling has been increasing this whole time. Is this something you wanted to do? No, 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 no. Okay. 
Uh, the Fall rumbling has game. been increasing this whole time. Keep up Rocks with the crabs. Rocks are starting to fall. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw as you leave the mountain. This is literally rocks fall and everyone dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is that. <laughs> is it a one? Is it a one? Number ten. <laughs> I got a 13 plus my dex, which is zero, so 13. You save. You take 2d12 damage from rocks I falling on you. I have 19 right now. This could go either way, guys. I got a 15. Okay, you pass. The check was 15. I oh, know, I got a 13. Oh, you got a 13? You also take 2d12 damage. I'm so happy to be conscious <laughs> again. I was very touch and go there. Nothing bad could happen at this point. Surely we all near the exit. Fuck. Uh, yeah, roll, roll that damage so me and Sky can die. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're dead. You're fucking. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at max HP right now. Which is? Yeah, you're fucking. Two D twelve. You might roll two ones. I rolled Good. a six and a one. I am at one HP. Ah, fucking believable. What did you get? Did you pass? Yeah. Okay. Rocks hit both of you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad could happen. Ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> the guard's dead. He failed his save. Great. <laughs> no, uh, Camden. God. All can the I, sea names. All the sea can names. I, can I cut a piece of flesh off this guard real you are quick? Running from an active cave-in. Right, but it's over, right? He got hit on the head and killed, and we no, no, made it out. No, the I think cave. Oh, okay. you're, 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 you, this is oh. you, action movie diving out got of it. the rockfall. You reach in, grab your hat, and then the fucking door closes. <laughs> you run out. You run away from the mountain. You turn around to see it collapsing in on itself. And where the entrance was, you see the idol. But it's not grimacing anymore. It's smiling. Don't like that. And you are overcome with a feeling that you can't quite understand. Everybody roll insight for me. Well, that's better. Terrible. I got a zero to insight. Uh, I got a 19! Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> 11! <laughs> no. um, that's a one. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, we got 11 nat ones. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know. <laughs> Plus insight, God. which is one, so that's a two. <laughs> okay. Amazing. You don't... You are simply overwhelmed with horror. There can only be one. At this, looking while looking at this grinning idol, the two of you are able to intuit something. It's almost gratitude but it's the gratitude of a star going supernova and the oh, for the planets that it's consuming. That's the best way you have to describe the feeling that you're getting right I now. I personally don't like that. Old dog's just like, hmm, fire, yeah. <laughs> yes, Jaha, it's very confusing. I'm, I'm, so, I, I'm not sure what to make of a teaser, but we don't we really get some, some... But on the plus side, next to a small oasis, there are a number of camels tied up. I'm running over there and I'm punching many... one in the fucking face <laughs> right now. I'm gonna need you to understand something. I punched two camels. You kick one of those. You get to roll one attack. Let's see if you hit. Seven plus my unarmed strike, which is a uh... Plus four. Eleven. Roll unarmed damage for me. I'm about to get fucking kicked by this camel and die. <laughs> uh, unarmed damage, I don't roll. It's just three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the camel rears up to attack you. Actually, it's gonna bite you. <laughs> it's a sixteen. 
You have one hit point. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you survived the Herald of Zop. <laughs> you survived years in the mines. You survived escaping a mountain falling in on itself. You finally learned magic. <laughs> And this camel that you decided to punch for no reason bites you on the neck and you bleed to death. Oh my god. Uh, Kristoff gets very angry as a camel and uh, goofy cartoon music starts playing as he rages. Oh my god. And very funny sound effects happen as he goes to punch the camel. Oh god. Uh, natural 17 plus 6. So 23. Okay, damage. I was punching the camel. Hold on. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Sorry. I had a three. I don't know if yours is going to be more. But yeah, I don't know. Four. You have now upset the herd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead man. Uh, Roll a dex saving throw as these things charge and trample you. <laughs> what? What's up? Nope. It's, we're gonna do response and action. Eleven. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. <laughs> I love that the only reason we're doing this is because we want to punch a camel. <laughs> and I also know that John just put those there to tempt us to punch a camel. <laughs> you take fifteen bludgeoning damage because you're fucking trampled. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Corinne, what would you like to do? Punch the camel, In please. beast speech, <laughs> using my animal handling skills, I'm going to call for There's one of the cartoon music playing. for one of the camels to come over. It's turned into sixty foot radius. I take you know a couple of sips from Think the bu- oasis and whatnot, oh, like go. getting some water back into my system, and I throw a leg over uh, the camel up into the saddle. Pick up Cobalt the Crab, put it in my lap, and we'd ride off into the sunset. <laughs> the camel, what the fuck is up with those guys? <laughs> fucking, we just left dead in the desert. You know, you looked like an elder being, apparently, and they took offense to that. You were, you were, you were in the favor of Krom. <laughs> You had touched the dreamlands <laughs> and learned magic. And now you died, trampled by camels. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what? Like you can't Amazing. Pay. You can't fucking pay for that, okay? No. Like, oh god. And as the as the chicken jahar cries at the oasis in the, <laughs> the chicken the yeah. <laughs> Oh, my crab's still there too. No, wait, no, no, no. No, it's yeah, no. familiar. I'm dead. It's a familiar. Yeah. There's just a lone chicken. <laughs> well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. I do appreciate it. The next episode that I have written up is episode two of the Conan one shots, the lust of Derketo. The only character who could return to that is Marianne. <laughs> the others are dead. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. I'll just, uh, play, I'll just play Jahar the Chicken. Yeah, this has been a yeah. blast. I hope you all enjoyed oh, yourselves. Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I got, and, I got uh, death by Cam Cam. <laughs> Uh, thank you for <laughs> no, thank you for joining us at Above Table and have a wonderful night. <laughs> no.